Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. My friends, it's already Thursday, the 21st day of May 2015. I'm your host, Alex Jones. We've got a ton of vitally important news and information, obviously, today to cover. And we're going to be checking in at the bottom of each hour with our live video and audio feeds from the main mothership of the eugenicist forces here in Austin, Texas, Planned Parenthood. And Jakari Jackson is basically leading a protest out there that just kicked off about a minute ago. And again, that is on Ben White Boulevard in South Austin. Planned Parenthood 201 East Ben White 78704 today. And we're just out on the sidewalk by the access road. A lot of traffic. A lot of people to educate. We've got a whole bunch of big black and white signs printed up that show Margaret Sanger being saluted by the Ku Klux Klan. And we just point out that all of this race baiting and, 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 and demonization of, say, white people in general by the media is just divide and conquer. Everybody knows that who's got half a brain. But still, political correctness says, hey, don't have a brown paper bag uh, in Seattle or it's racist. I'm not kidding if, if you're a new listener. Or, you know, don't, uh, you know, be against sex education of five-year-olds or you're a homophobe. All of this distractionary stuff is just meant to bully people into submitting to the social engineering. Meanwhile, you have the modern Democratic Party's roots and the Republicans to a certain extent. But the facts are in. The facts are facts. The Democratic Party has destroyed the black community for all intents and purposes from what it was. And they're doing the same thing to every other group. If you look at people as groups. And so our reporters are out there, both as political activists, to try to save lives, try to educate folks about what's happening and to hijack George Soros' White House Justice Department meme that the only social injustice in America is militarized police shooting unarmed black men in the back. And it is an important issue, but one that the feds are driving towards confrontation, not towards fixing it. And so that's why we're going to be covering all of this and more today. I specifically also want to open the phones up. On Monday, I shot a video after I did the radio show when I was just having a lot of anxiety, which I never really have, about the state of the world and about big developments going on both seen and unseen, and basically most people I talk to have said that they are feeling disquieted, they're having anxiety, they're worried about the state of the world. Dr. Group walked in a couple days ago, hadn't even heard the show, hadn't seen that video, and was telling the crew the same thing, and they said, don't you know about Alex's video? So are you seeing more signs that the globalists are on the move, and is that causing you to have a sixth sense to watch your six? Or is it just that we're becoming more aware of the marinade of tyranny, the, the, the ocean of dehumanization that's going on, and so it's humanity awakening that we're all picking up on? Or is everything fine and I'm just being paranoid and we should all go back to sleep? I'd like to hear from you. First-time callers in the first round of calls, 800-259-9231 on that subject. Are you picking up something big is about to happen, and why is there so much, so, so many people talking about it? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on this 21st day of May 2015. On this Thursday edition, 
We're going to be having live updates from a demonstration at the uh, Central Texas headquarters of the eugenicist uh, organization that advised Adolf Hitler Planned Parenthood. We're going to be talking about how all black lives matter and how the war against the police that the feds and the globalists are trying to start is actually a plan to divert and distract from the dehumanization extermination program being carried out against blacks in this country. We'll get updates at the bottom of the hour, each hour. And we have the big graphics up on Infowars.com of Margaret Sanger at the Ku Klux Klan rallies being worshipped. And I mean literally worshipped. They would put her up on the stage, surround her, and then... Uh, do the uh, Hitler salutes uh, just just on their figurative knees. Quote, we don't want the word to go out that we want to exterminate the Negro population. Margaret Sanger, 1939, in a letter to the Procter & Gamble Foundation. So there you go. And where you've got, I think we printed up like 50 big signs. And we're going to be handing them out to folks. So get over there. If you're listening in Central Texas right now, you really want to expose what's happening. And it's bigger than just abortion. You can even say you're for abortion. What about the targeting and the pushing on a group? And, and then I see comments on Infowars.com and on YouTube videos about it. A meme saying, then you pay for the black people's school. You pay for their welfare. You pay for their medical. You pay, you pay, you pay. I love how they collectivize things on the so-called left. They're really just eugenicists. They take a community that had almost no illegitimacy, very low crime rates, and wreck it to the model of the world when it comes to the highest crime rates, highest illegitimacy, uh, dying young, prison population. I mean, they have wrecked the black community in this country. Wreck them and by the way, the same socialist policies in Europe has taken white areas and just turned them into the exact same thing. Selling thug culture, you name it, it is psychological warfare. And what was perfected on the blacks is now being deployed against everybody. It is a fact that Margaret Sanger gave awards to Hitler, got awards from Hitler. It is a fact that our entire modern world and modern liberalism is totalitarianism in the name of social justice to cover right under the surface the vicious anti-human activities that are going on by this death wing. You've got the life wing of this world, you've got the death wing of this world. And they are the legion of death. They are the wing of death. They are the wings of rage and, and, and anti-human bloodlust that, that these, these wicked devils soar into the sky on. It is over the top. And we now see, looks like there's already about 20 people out there or so. From the earlier shots I saw, I'll put another shot uh, up on screen. We'll talk to Jakari Jackson and others that are out there when we come back. And there's already some other good pro-lifers out there exposing what's happening, but uh, we've got signs for you, and we're just trying to get other people around the country to start this hijacking of Black Lives Matter that is openly run by George Soros and the White House and the Justice Department so that we don't really reform the police. We have the feds reform them by federalizing them completely and making them 10 times worse, and that's the words of an analyst in USA Today. That said, let's get into the news. There is so much to get into here. On the economic front, more economists are warning of total collapse. We're going to be getting into that. Talking about the $45 trillion in future obligations we have, the $19 trillion that is now our national debt, and then the separate two-plus quadrillion that have been created by the central banks so they could buy up the world that they have now bound us to that is not our debt. And that when the bubble burst, and it will, and when they have the cascade of bubbles popping, it can be triggered by a war, it can be triggered by another pop 
popping of a dot com bubble, uh, which is due to happen with Silicon Valley. It could happen for a, a race riots this summer that the White House is desperately trying to foment. And most analysts are saying will probably happen to some degree this summer. I mean, look what's already happening. It's not even hot yet. We don't know what's going to trigger it, and I pray it doesn't happen, but it's like praying grandpa in the hospital doesn't die when he's 90 years old, just had surgery. I mean, you know, you know he's going to die. The only question is, is this month or two years from now. But when this sucker goes down, uh, no amount of armored vehicles, no amount of paramilitary police is, is going to stabilize things because we just don't have the industry. We don't have the food production capacity anymore. Uh, we don't have the moral fiber anymore. And out of this global meltdown, they will form their planetary government with the carbon taxes that the Pope's calling for. Man, this new Pope, uh, of all the Popes I've seen, I mean, is just a Marxist. No other way to look at it. And everybody knows I'm not a Catholic basher. Uh, I mean, you tune into mainline Pentecostal preachers that are towing the government line and spewing a bunch of ecumenical uh, garbage as well. But I tell you, man, over the top to see the things that are happening. The Pope calling for global carbon taxes as if that's wealth redistribution. That's a tax on human development and human activity, ignoring all the real environmental issues. Look at this headline. Feds spent $100 billion on food assistance last year. $100 billion. That's electronic soup kitchen lines with 109 million people. I've always gone the number of 100 million. I didn't know it was 109. People always send me emails going, it's not 100 million. It's 49 million on food stamps. That's one federal program. It's out of the Washington Free Beacon. The Congressional Budget Office and others have put the numbers out. It's 100 billion for 109 million Americans, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you enslave a people. And they're just accelerating, getting rid of our jobs, not having any contracts here domestically. We can't even build our new railways here. We have to buy it made in China, shipped over. And then Chinese firms, that's in the news today, are the ones actually that are going to build it. But I guess that's happened before. I guess J.P. Morgan and the Astors and... The Rockefellers, when they were building the railroads, they didn't want to use American labor either. They would ship in coolies, I think they called them, and work them to death. And then they blamed the general white man like, like he was all behind it again. No. No. Uh, China was a colonial holding of the West at that time, divided up by the Western powers. The French, the Brits, the Dutch, the Americans, you name it. The Germans. The Austrians. And they just shipped them over here, basically, as slaves. So I guess that's just the way it always is. The more things change, the more they stay the same. I want to get into Rand Paul uh, right now as we get ready to go out to break with the opening uh, statement. But now the good news is AP reports that it's in trouble. The reauthorization of the Patriot Act is in trouble. That's tied to the NSA. And then we'll come back with his detractors and the baloney they're putting out. Uh, here is the intro of his 10-hour historic filibuster yesterday. Mr. President. The senator from Kentucky. There comes a time, there comes a time in the history of nations when fear and complacency allow power to accumulate and liberty and privacy to suffer. That time is now, and I will not let the Patriot Act, the most unpatriotic of acts, go unchallenged. At the very least, we should debate. We should debate whether or not we are going to relinquish our rights or whether or not we are going to have a full and able debate over whether or not we can live within the Constitution or whether or not we have to go around the Constitution. The bulk collection of all Americans' phone records all of the time is a direct violation of the Fourth Amendment. 
The second appeals court has ruled it illegal. The president began this program by executive order. He should immediately end it through executive order. For over a year now, he has said the program is illegal, and yet he does nothing. He says, well, Congress can get rid of the Patriot Act. Congress can get rid of the bulk collection. And yet he has the power to do it at his fingertips. He began this illegal program. The court has informed him that the program is illegal. He has every power to stop it, and yet the president does nothing. Justice Brandeis wrote that the right to be left alone is the most cherished of rights, most prized among civilized men. The Fourth Amendment incorporates this right to privacy. The Fourth Amendment incorporates this right to be left alone. When we think about the bulk collection of records, you might ask, well, maybe I'm willing to give up my freedom for security. Maybe if I just give up a little freedom, I'll be more safe. Well, most of the information- We'll be back with more safe. straight ahead in the response. All right, uh, we're going to go back and finish up the opening remarks of Rand Paul, which is very moderately put, very reasonable. Hey, we should have a debate about being beyond 1984. We don't even have a debate. Can we just debate and admit these illegal programs? And the response, of course, uh, by the media is there are no illegal programs. None of this is happening. Just like they deny everything else, even when it's admitted. Remember what Gibbs, the White House press secretary, said? He was ordered to say that the drone program didn't exist when it was publicly admitted to exist? The drone assassination program? This is what they do. They lie. So let's go back and have him finish that opening statement, then we're going to play what Congressman Peter King had to say. You might ask, well... Maybe I'm willing to give up my freedom for security. Maybe if I just give up a little freedom, I'll be more safe. Well, most of the information that comes on whether you're safe or not comes from people who have secret information that you're not allowed to look at. So you have to trust the people. You have to trust those in our intelligence community that they're being honest with you. That when they tell you how important these programs are and that you must give up your freedoms, you must give up part of the Fourth Amendment, when they tell you this, you have to trust them. The problem is, is that we're having a great deal of difficulty trusting these people. That's right. And of course, they lied to us about WMDs in Iraq. Saudi Arabia was involved in 9-11. That's been proven, bare minimum. And we attacked their enemy instead and now have given a third of Iraq and two-thirds of Syria basically now is in the control of ISIS. In fact, they just announced today that ISIS is, it looks like, going to go ahead and take over Syria probably. Notice they were losing a year ago but went into Iraq, got resupplied accidentally, getting all the U.S. and NATO weapons accidentally. And then now they're taking over. So see, all this surveillance, all this spying, and Al-Qaeda has morphed into something 50 times bigger than it was. Hundreds of thousands strong, allowed to recruit in the West. And Peter King, the neocon rhino monster, comes out and attacks Senator Paul and basically says uh, that he's fear-mongering and that none of this is going on. Let's go to Peter King. Oh, I strongly disagree with Rand Paul. I think the NSA is essential. I think that the uh, NSA, first of all, I know they're not listening to anyone's phone calls or reading anyone's emails. What they do is they store collections of phone numbers. Uh, and so if you find out that an American has been speaking to a terrorist overseas, that, that then the Justice Department goes to court to get a court order. The fact is that the NSA listens to no one's at all. They just collect this information. It's essential to our security. I think Rand Paul is wrong. I agree with Mitch, uh, Mitch McConnell. I think the uh, law should have been extended as it is. I voted for the bill in the House because that's the only one we can get through. But I, I think Senator Paul is doing a disservice to the country when he yeah, makes let's stop right there. Uh, You have the DEA for 20 years 
recording phone calls, tracking who you call, creating phone trees without warrants, and then creating fake cases to go to court to then build a fraudulent prosecution. I mean, it's on record they've been recording eight out of ten phone calls for at least five years. It all got released by Snowden, but we already know that in a handful of cases, when they're going to go ahead with the prosecution, they go out and then get the warrant later to go back and reverse engineer it. But it's not pointed at terrorists. It's pointed at Congress, who they admit they've been spying on. And notice King says we need the NSA. No one ever said that we don't need an intelligence agency that spies on foreign governments in this world. We don't need it aimed at us and backdoored into everything. So everything they do is a misrepresentation. It's the same talking point. Here's Senator Marco Rubio last week saying there is no spying and there is no Atlantic Ocean. Here it is. The perception has been created, including by political figures that serve in this chamber, that the United States government is listening to your phone calls or going through your bills on a, as a matter of course. That is absolutely categorically false. The next time that any politician senator, congressman, talking head, whatever it may be, stands up and says that the U.S. government is listening to your phone calls or going through your phone records, they're lying. It just is not true. Except for some very isolated uh -huh. instances oh, yes. in the hundreds of individuals for whom there is reasonable suspicion that they could have links to terrorism. Really, uh, I always have trouble pronouncing his name, but I like him as an actor, Shea LaBeouf. Uh, before all the Snowden stuff came out, remember? He was on the set of GoldenEye in 2009, and the FBI admitted We're to him. The they recorded everything he the said. They played a clip run. back. Alex it's Jones all stored. GCN Radio we'll be back. Network. It's all illegal. Of Jakari Jackson and about 35 to 40 pro-lifers out there exposing that Planned Parenthood was founded by the Rockefeller Foundation, the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute, Helped create the Hitler movement. We have the photos of Margaret Sanger uh, addressing the Ku Klux Klan. I'm sick of the so-called left, these, these, these fascist, these anti-human people claiming that they're liberals. Thomas Jefferson was a liberal. You're not. Shh, you are a fraud. And so I'm watching the feed during the break. And I go, look, those are people with black signs blocking the families out there with their signs against abortion and the fact that half the black people in the country are exterminated and they come with big black tarps guaranteed they're going to say they're anarchists but then they'll tell you they love Lenin. I haven't even talked to them yet. And then they go and try to cover the signs up so no one can, and these aren't signs, uh, uh, pictures of dead babies by the way and that's your first amendment. Uh, these are signs that simply show Margaret Sanger with the Ku Klux Klan and her quotes from the university archives. And these people have black tarps putting them up in front so that, so that the passing cars can't see it. This is how dumb the followers of Sauron are, is that they think it makes them look good to be trying to censor when we're talking to 3 million people right now on the radio, over 170 AM and FM affiliates, Five million views every few days on YouTube, live feeds with about 200,000 people, last time I checked, watching our live video feed. You're not stopping anything. And by the way, this is about 10 minutes from where I'm at. I'm tempted to have David Knight come in here and take over. And I think that's David Knight's wife out there. That is David Knight's wife with them trying to block her. Either David Knight's going to have to go down there or I'm going to have to get him in here and I'm going to have to go down there because... because and by the way, we need to push it with these people. They don't have a right to get in people's faces and block their signs. That violates the First Amendment. And the police need to be called down there to stop them. We are peacefully down there simply engaging in the First Amendment. And these little monsters are there doing this. I'm going to get back to the NSA and the rest of it. But I'm telling you, these anarchists, these look like anarchists, uh, you know, trust fund kids uh, who then run around and act like they're pirates all day. I'm going to guess they're going to say they're anarchists, but if you ask their political views, it'll be Marxist, Leninist. I don't know, but but as soon as I saw them on the scene, I said during the break, I said, they're going to block signs. That's operatives right there. And boom, sure enough, that's what they're doing. So I've seen this before. I've had anarchists in New York, anarchists in Austin, anarchists in, that just means George Soros funded uh, groups uh, in Denver. Punch me in the back, you name it, do all sorts of stuff. 
and I'm just sick of them. I mean, we're out there exposing that they're targeting blacks for extermination. I mean, look at them, trying to block signs. Okay, we're going to go to Jakari Jackson, and then I want him to march up to these guys. I see Josh Owens out there, and I want to ask these punks what they think they're doing violating the First Amendment. I mean, look at this guy. Look at this little guy right here. I mean, you talk about scum of the earth if you're watching us on TV. And look at him trying to block David Knight's wife. Let's call David Knight in here right now, too. Let's get him a seat in here. I haven't seen him this morning, but I'm sure he's in his office working on something to see what he thinks of this. This is surreal. Uh, now, let's go ahead and uh, go to uh, Jakari Jackson in a, in a live feed. I mean, look at how pathetic and desperate these, these, these drag rats are with their pants hanging down around their butts. Because, uh, see, oh, that's their tip to the, uh, you know, the whole ghetto culture. But then, meanwhile, they're upset that we don't want black people to be chopped up. I mean, look at these rodents. I mean, you talk about true rodent-like creatures. And I'm sorry, folks, this is what they are. They just look like human rats. Uh, let's go ahead now, these, these white rats. Uh, let's go ahead now and, uh, I mean, just look at how weak they are. Uh, Jakari Jackson, what do you make of this? Scar Jackson reporting live, Austin, Texas, and from the Planned Parenthood. I believe this is 201 East Ben White Boulevard, and I want you guys to follow me over here. We have about 25 or so peaceful demonstrators behind me, but now we have these guys running around their black tarps. I'm going to see if I can get a word. Hey, excuse me, gentlemen, what brings you out here today? Well, Ask who they work for. Gentlemen. Get in his face. Hey, hey excuse me. Uh, what, what brings you guys out here today? How about you being aggressive? I'll talk to you. I'm being aggressive. You guys are covering everybody's signs. <laughs> see, that's how they operate. Traffic. Yeah. Let's, let's, uh, so as you can see, this gentleman is trying to post up his sign. The leader's the little. Him, and they're saying that I'm being aggressive for trying to ask them a question. The leader's the little rat one. That's the one on the hey, phone. Look, hey, you're being aggressive to that guy. Hey, hey, keep your hands up. Yeah, the police guy. need to get I'm out there. Aggressive. Don't be aggressive to him. Yeah. So what brings you guys out here today? They want to stop the First Amendment. organization? All right, as you can see, they're clearly harassing this gentleman, and they're saying that we're being aggressive for coming out here and signs. They're trying to block him with his sign. Yeah, let the guy, let the guy stand with they the sign. They want to make sure those women get let's in see there. If this gentleman's, let's see if this evil sign says, abortion is child murder. Okay. That's all it is. That they, that's, yeah, the guy was just trying to tell people the truth. Thank you, sir, for coming no out No dead here. babies, what no you, nothing. What do you think about this, uh, this agitation that's going on out here? Uh, it's just, I mean, come on. They're being told to do it by somebody. Okay. Don't right, really sir, thank you for coming out. All right, so you saw it right there, Alex. We'll move on back down. Now they're agitating this uh, this lovely lady down here, trying to block her sign. We need all patriots that are listening to get down there now and to join us in the First Amendment against these rodents. I mean, just look at how slimy these, these guys are. I think it's not fair at all because as an American, I have the right to express my opinion, as do they. And if they want to get some signs and express their opinion, they're more than happy to be out here. Totalitarian like turds. But to try and block my right as an American for a free speech and to express my opinion to people is just not right. That's right. Unfair. Thank you, miss. Did you have anything you'd like to add? No, I'm, I'm with her. I mean, I just, you know, I, I have a right to express my viewpoints. And hey, look, look, I'm sorry. Look, look, aggressive. they're attacking this guy. Aggressive. They're up here throwing throwing their tarp on the gentleman. Yeah, here's what's going to happen. They aggressive. want to get the cops called, and then they're going to blame us. We need to go ahead and have somebody call it in. We got video of all of it. And then they, they, they put one cop there. There should be a cop there anyways. Uh, then oh, that will stop APD. their activity. APD's here right now. Good. APD's here. Well, you tell them you've got the footage and shut down those totalitarian pieces of crap. Well, don't stop now. The cops just got here. Keep doing whatever you're doing. Oh, look at them. They're actually jumping on him right there. Un and you were, they were getting in your wife's face. That, uh, uh, see, you see now that APD Yeah, we're going to go ahead and turn David, David Knight's mic on. Leave. Uh, David Knight is in studio. Uh, David Knight, what do you make watching him harass your wife? If they think they're going to stop her, Alex, they don't know my wife. You could see her. She was going below their sign, above their sign. It was kind of funny, actually. But, you know, I think what that lady Let's said was here. exactly right. If they've got a different point of view, put their point of view on a sign. Put it out there. You have different uh, views out there. But the the mindset of the left or the authoritarian or the they anarchists, are, they, whoever they are. I call them the left, yeah. too. Yeah. They are totalitarian scum. Yeah. Yes. They're trying to shut down our freedoms. I'm sick of them.
They don't want to debate. They don't want to come out there with their sign right, against what we're putting up there. They want to silence other people. That's the whole point. That's I right. Uh, uh, that they Jakari, have black signs. Jakari, what's happening now? So the officer just arrived on scene. But we're not blocking the way. They're letting him through and all that. He assaulted me over here. He assaulted me. He's just, it looks like he's just provocateur, to be very honest with you. But yeah. I think he's for the cause. I just, he's just an agitator. He looked like an agitated vet. That's what he looks like. Right, just look like, okay, just talk to him. Uh, Who's so that guy? Is he, is he a pro-lifer or is he with them? There was a dude in a wheelchair over there that was claiming that y'all were blocking the sidewalk. And I was like, no, they're not blocking the sidewalk. If you ask them to move, they will move. I told but you, that's what they're there. They're there blaming that us for stuff. That dude yeah. assaulted me with his wheelchair after some... Here come these guys nice again. ...person squirted holy water out of a palm auto palm olive bottle at me. This just happened? It just happened over here. That's why I walked, That's why I turned my phone on. I was like, let me see what's, what's going on over here. I actually came down here. I was on my way to my friend's house. I was explaining to somebody over there. I went to school right up the street up here. Um, I went to school right up the street up here on the corner of 35 and Old Torf. We got to end this in a minute. At Travis High School where they actually had Planned Parenthood consultants in my high school. Oh, wow. oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> And this is right up the street. I'm from the south side. So the south side, just so for y'all that don't know about Austin, is a different city than the whole city. The south side, once you cross that river, once yes, you cross Yes, I know. I've, I've lived on the south side my whole life. So, so tell us what happened when they came to your school. But it's not when they came to my school, they had established, established counselors there for, the, for, the, uh, for, you know, I mean, obviously that school was a minority school, mainly black and brown. So it was... They had a basically a. Jakari, ask him if he's aware of the history of Planned Parenthood. Then we got to move on. Actual clinic in there, but they had the counselors. All right, so well, we got to keep moving. But let me ask you: Are you aware of the history of Planned Parenthood with Margaret Sanger? Of course, I'm aware of it. I've been knowing. I've been trying to contact Alex Jones for years. I'm actually on a video with for for years, so I know about this whole situation and all that. I've been actually. I just recently reached out to Rob Du. Okay. And um and was trying to explain to this all ties into the what's going on with the race relations. There's a bigger underlying issue that's going on that a lot of people in America are not aware of and it's it's religious and spiritual in nature. All right, we'll talk, we'll talk to him more that, later, okay, Jakari. Yeah. We, we got to move around and show the agitators. Well, uh, we'll Thank talk you. To you a little bit later. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Now now th that little rat seems to be the main leader who was telling the other rats what to do. <laughs> he, see, he knows how to walk yeah. and chew gun. The others yeah. don't even do that. See, Alex, these guys are out here blocking people, and now we have uh, somebody else trying to block them. Pete, what do you think about this, man? Uh, their, their boards don't say nothing. I thought we were here to defend babies. That's why we came here. If you're going to pick a moral, a moral high ground to be on, then why not defend the kids? I don't know why they're saying that, uh, that killing kids ain't, it's all right. It's not all right. That's why we came out here to stand for the kids. Because if they ain't got no way to defend them, that's right. then God ain't going to protect us. And that's why we out here. All right, thanks, Pete. All right. All right, now you can see these guys. They're still out here trying to block up people's signs. Look at this rat. Ask this rat. Hey, excuse me, sir. What brought you out here today? The communists and the socialists. Sir. sir, what brought you out here today? Don't threaten me. He doesn't well, say anything. anything. Threatened him, he doesn't, but he doesn't want signs. to talk. He just said somebody threatened him. We have video. Nobody. Yeah, nobody now. threatened him. Anyway, well, we'll keep moving. Jakari, let's continue to show these rat creatures. Again, for folks that just joined us, we're covering Planned Parenthood, a, a literal proto-Nazi organization that's exterminated half the blacks plus the, since Roe v. Wade in this country. Now about 50 people, it looks like, are out there. And there's three or four of these these pit of hell creatures that have crawled out of some gutters. Hey, excuse me, miss. What brought you out here today? InfoWars is anti-black, anti-woman. They're here just to fuck with people in the community. Right, women, that. black women in the community. It's disgusting. It's okay. disgusting. And they're hiding behind Black Lives Matter. This is not a Black Lives Matter protest. This is anti-black. Okay. Anti yeah. Okay, so I've this, been out in Ferguson, Missouri, and tear gas with people who were standing up for their first She just called us rights. racist. I'm against uh, people burning down black communities. I'm against uh, police brutality to all races of people, and you're not racist. black people. But I guess that's uh, supposedly somehow anti-black. Well, let's talk Thank more to her. Get her name. Just tell her not to cuss. What's your, what's your name, miss? Fo 
Fuck off. Okay, a very delay that. lady, indeed. Okay, so so all she said was, we're racist. Don't touch me. Back up. And that's the end of it. You want to touch me again? Move. I'll throw you all right, we have to cut the audio from this feed for a minute while the delay builds back up. So let's cut the audio because these people's trash mouth. So talk about mindless and dumb. These people can barely talk. Yeah. There's now five white people out there telling us we're racist because we yeah. don't want to exterminate the blacks. Yeah, exactly. Because, again, brown paper bags are racist. Um, any type of Halloween party uh, or costume party where you're a cowboy, a geisha girl, uh, you know, an African villager, whatever it is, it's all racist. Uh, but, but, but actually killing black people is uh, chopping them up is, I mean, look how dumb that woman is. Look, look at the look on her face. Get a shot of her face. Look at, look at her uh, showing her teeth. I mean, I think I need to go down there. Look at that piranha-like creature. Do they even have anything on those signs? Those are just blank as well, aren't they? Did she put something on her sign? No, she's just there. She's with them. Yeah. They're just there to block the, uh, again, we're having a Black Lives Matter event, and they're starting around the country. We didn't even know the Reverend Childress was already doing it before we were. Pointing out that focusing on cops, shooting a few black people in the back, is a diversion by the globalist from their larger plan, doubling black unemployment, exterminating blacks, bringing in third world populations to displace. This is all part of divide and conquer. Everyone knows this. Everyone knows that every major white supremacist site hates me. Everyone knows that I am enemy number one because I'm bringing people together against the globalist. And the Southern Poverty Law Center and ADL have worked hard from behind the scenes to make sure that the Nazi leadership tries to take control of that movement so that it can then be demonized and stop and not have a big tent. We're here to bring everybody together. Uh, and so now the police are out there because these, 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 these rodentia... Uh, are, 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 I mean, look at this guy with his butt hanging out. Uh, and then he's got his girlfriend or whoever she is out there, uh, literally just like a piranha that hates our guts, that I'm anti woman. Well, the, the uncomfortable truth is that their founder, the founder of uh, Planned Parenthood, Margaret Sanger, has had numerous quotes about how this is about eugenics. And one of them that's on one of the signs out there says that uh, what she said about the inferior races is that they have a choice, segregation or sterilization. They have a So we're exposing the goddess of the Ku Klux Klan, yeah. and so we're bad. And it's 201 East Bend White. Plenty of parking, South Austin, get over there in, in, in the face of these people that want to destroy the First Amendment. They want to black out the truth. They don't want to have a discussion of this. They want to hide those quotes from Margaret Sanger. They want to hide what they're about. That's why they get out there with black signs and try to put them in front of other people's signs. But, I mean, this woman couldn't even, she just said he hates women, he hates blacks. F. Alex Jones, that's why we had to delay it out for radio stations out there and had to cut the feed because they were cussing so much. Because uh, after a while, the delay yeah. doesn't work. We have to let it build back up for like a minute. I mean, this is insane what's going on. In Austin, Texas, we're simply there exposing that the globalists could care less about anybody and blacks were the beta test. This is coming down on everybody. Yes. And so I'm so sick of the left saying, you pay for the black babies, you pay for the welfare. They're the ones that put them on welfare and did all this to dehumanize them, to make them domesticated, and then they say, now let's kill them. It's like kill the old people with the uh, death panels and don't give the veterans care. You know, we don't have enough money. Once they collectivize things, then they get everybody used to basically cutting off the weakest. No, we build economies around quality, around innovation, and around taking care of our least that's how this works. That's how you build an economy. Uh, They're losing just, the argument. We're going so to blank... skip this break. I'm sorry, David. Go ahead. Yeah. They're losing the argument, so they want to shut down speech. They know they can't win this argument. And, and so that's a perfect visual metaphor for what this group is about. And every Covering day, every day, exactly, perfect archetype. Every day they're in the news trying to ban free speech, yes. trying to shut down speech. Yes. They are totalitarian rats. With idiot moron followers uh, who. And whenever they say anything, all they say is racist, sexist, you're bad. They don't ever back it up with anything. And I should point out right here, they're just putting the, their signs in front of everybody else because they don't have anything that they can say to support their case. All right, guys, be on that delay. Be ready for our FCC rules. No cussing. Let's fade up audio, see what's happening. Jakari Jackson.
What kills more black people than abortion? It's called systemic globalism, man. Open your eyes up. Y'all are out here protesting because InfoWars is famous, man. You're not out here for black people, and you ain't out here to support abortion. You out here to just be a contrarian, man. You out here to be a contrarian. The truth of the matter is, is that the earth is growing up into a spiritual age where we're waking up to both of your sides, man. It's about being honorable. It's about being respectful. It's about honoring people's lives, man. Y'all people are just holding up bundles and bundles and bundles and bundles of words with no action. Well, that's you not don't fair. Care about They're out there, people. and we're and taking action. We're for life. Women. Yeah. And this guy, that, that's the new internet thing, to say you're better than everybody. I know yeah. these things. Oh, absolutely. No, we're not perfect. We just are trying to do the right thing. Yep. All of you groups. By the way, those, are, those guys are regular pro-lifers. I recognize a bunch of them that go out every week and try to save lives. And this poor guy's being mean to them. And then, and, then, and then the rat ran off. He got what he wanted. you have it? Because I started off by saying, how you going to call the man a All right, let's keep seeing what everybody else thinks. Absolutely. Do what you can where you can. Absolutely. That's just amazing. You can't solve all the world's problems a, uh, at once. Take them one at a time. There's a lady down here who's uh, one of the pregnancy advocacy center leads. So yeah, let's talk about her. that. When they don't tell women inside Planned Parenthood death oh, camps me, that they will pay you, you to have your baby. Yeah. Okay, so we have, we have the... Lady here, what's your name is? Debbie. Okay, now, and what group do you represent? Um, I'm the director and founder of Chicon Pregnancy Resource Center. Okay. In East Austin at 12th and Chicon. Well, tell and us about it. What type it. of services do you render at your clinic? We do free pregnancy tests and we have limited ultrasounds so that when a mom is finds out she's pregnant, she can see the heartbeat and um, hear, hear the baby's heartbeat and see the baby. And we also give them, uh, we have a baby boutique where moms can go and get clothes for their babies and um, food and you know, formula, bottles, diapers, I mean, everything that they would need. So we support them physically and emotionally and spiritually. Okay. And we have a, a thing that we do on Tuesdays um, that's called Chick Chat. But that so guy just said that we're not doing anything. Just, you know, yeah. get loved These on are the real heroes right here. They can build a relationship. You solve it one child yeah. at a time. If somebody was considering coming to Planned Parenthood to get an abortion, what would you say to them? Well, we would talk to them and just show them their options. We would ask them, you know, what they know about abortion and make sure that they know um, what what abortion looks like, you know, what that what that is. There's a pamphlet that's put out by um, actually the state of Texas called Women's Right to Know. And we just want to make sure that they know that they have options, right? And Tell her to we give just, us her website. We, our, our choice is that they choose life. Right. But we just ultimately, we want to take care. We are all about protecting Texas women. Great. And where can people get in touch with you? What's your website? Our website is chaconprc.org. And we are at the corner of 12th and Chicon, so they can come by and see All right, us. Thank you, ma'am. Um, we're there every day, Monday through Thursday, 10 to 3, and every other Saturday. All right, thank you so much, miss. Thank you. I, I see more info warriors are now showing up, and the rodents are trying to block it. And, and, and then it's. So, I was just going to say that that's uh, action right there. People come out here, they tell you how you can have other options opposed to just going and getting an abortion. So, yeah, we have plenty of people out here now. We have. Um, People down here, you got some of the uh, more controversial elements up there with the <laughs> colorful language. But uh, it's, a, it's a good mix out here. Well, I'd say, about, I'd, I'd say about 90% of the people, of the 50 folks or so that are out there, what about 90% are pro-life, pro-free speech? Shikari, is that accurate? Yeah, I'd say that. The majority of the people are The Austin American speech. statesman will claim that it was 90% pro-death. Watch. You know, yeah. Alex, I want to say something about this guy talking about trying to move this away to the global area. We have to start understanding that we're going to solve the problems of this world when we take action on an individual basis well, he was at the local level. Well, he was projecting. Yeah. Yeah. He said, I've tried to get a hold of InfoWars, so he's mad, probably wants a job or something. I'm not mad at him. We're out there taking action with Jakari and the rest of the crew. We're out there getting good people out there, people that are trying to save. You notice their websites. I'm trying to save black babies. It's white people, evil white people. Your uh, daughter is uh, Chinese adopted. Uh, you maybe could share that sometimes, the hellish condition she was in. They're killing Chinese girls. That's because you're racist. Why you save a Chinese girl? They're no, the truth is we just love life, and we're sick of, uh, of mental midgets trying to uh, one-up us by saying we're racist like that's their ace card. It's a joke. We're here trying to empower humanity. I mean, look at that probably 20-year-old girl 
brainwash and radical feminism. Uh, Infowars is anti-woman. Uh, look at her trying to block people's signs, but she won't even explain how I'm anti-woman. I'm pro-human. That means pro-woman, pro-man, pro-black, pro-white, pro-Hispanic, pro-Asian, pro-human. The globalists are anti-human. And, and it's so sick yeah. to see this. Uh, Jakari Jackson. Yeah, we. Oh, I'm talking to a gentleman. He was just uh, expressing to us that uh, how he heard some of the F-bombs. I guess he was listening on the radio, so I told him we had to move a little further from that action. Uh, but, sir, what do you think about the scene so far? Well, I run a roofing company. I noticed these guys have some tar paper over here. You think they need jobs? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what brought them. I do guarantee you, you they're trust fund like punks. Mr. you, yeah, there's a young lady over here. Did you have something that you'd like to say? Oh, okay. Well, she was with the uh, the group with the tar paper. They look like I total zombies. To I know. They dress in Sir, black. Sir, did you have anything that you'd like have to black add? black signs. Oh, uh, all I those think, that hate uh, me love death. This is yeah. a, a good cause, and I'm I'm honored to be out here and be a part of it. And I think Alex is doing a good work, and and uh, 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 I guess uh, uh, making it happen. Or contributing to making Tell it happen. Tell him I'm thinking him. He's making it happen. To making it happen. Thank you, sir. And Alex he says he thanks you. What you do. I Thank do. you, sir. Yeah, you're making it happen. Thank you. Why, frankly, I don't, I don't like think that. I should even go down there. I'm so oh, boy. I tell Remember I when they were at the state people. capitol and they had the hail Satan chants? Oh yeah, we caught yeah. that on video where they just had people trying to ban partial birth abortion. So all these women spontaneously showed up with demon faces. Going, ah, hail Satan, hail Satan. I forgot that. It's, it's, they are I don't possessed. even like to call it partial birth abortion. I think Rand Paul got it exactly right. You Will you kill a seven oh, pound sure, baby? Yes. That's what it's about. So it was the bill to stop people from killing seven pound babies. And it hurts our conscience and gets us upset that we don't want to kill seven pound babies. And these people act like there's something wrong with us. Yeah. Yeah. They're out there supporting a woman who was worshiped by Adolf Hitler. What is your people's problems? And then they call us racist. I mean, this is insane. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with Shakari Jackson. I'm Alex Jones with David Knight. Stay with us. You got Patriots in Austin, Texas. If you're watching us around the world or listening, about 50, 60 people out there. Now about 10 of them, or looks like more, like 75 now, are wearing all black, some kind of weird, yeah. looks like a cult. They won't talk. Uh, they're all pibbed out. And they are just there basically saying, F Alex Jones, he hates blacks, he hates women. Uh, even though they're almost all um, white, and uh, the the girl that looked like she's half white, half black, just looked like a total zombo, uh, and they won't talk other than cussing, and then they just go around like zombies. Look at that blonde girl; just looks like a zombie. Uh, she's just there shaking her head with hatred, totally brainwashed. Nobody's blocking her sign. Infowars is anti-women. You know what I love? People actually go to InfoWars.com, they'll find the truth. Yeah. I mean, they just yeah. don't get no weapon forms against us will prosper. Uh, David Knight, I didn't know that you even tried to adopt a black baby, and your other Christian friends were able to adopt a black sibling group. Yeah, 30 years ago, they wouldn't allow that in North Carolina when we tried to. Our, they've changed it now. We have uh, some friends back there. They adopted a sibling group. They're white. They adopted a black sibling group. But they told us at the time we went there, they said, well, we don't have any, any white babies for adoption, and, uh, but we do have black babies. So that's fine. We'll, we'll adopt a black baby. We don't care. And they said, no, we won't allow that. My wife called the North Carolina uh, Children's Home, and they said, we don't adopt children out of here. What would we do at the orphanage if we adopted our kids out? And they always say, when I've been at Planned Parenthood demonstrations, mainly racist blacks against their own people, they say, nobody wants these black babies. Yeah. Uh, right. And the that's truth is, there's more people wanting to adopt black babies than there are black babies being killed. And then that would be a way to get people socially mobile would be to get them out of some of these, you know, bad inner city cultures and help them. But no, 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 we can't have that. And your story is biblical about how you ought to tell it sometime or do a whole piece on it and have your wife in, how you couldn't have kids, but then well, yeah. once you adopted, she got pregnant. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And, and the thing is, is that we had tried going to different countries. I mean, the people who are out there who are- Well, my parents to, adopted them. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. The people who would like to adopt kids, they're not hung up on this, this whole thing about hair color or skin color or whatever. They don't really care. They'll go to Romania. They'll go to China. They'll go to South Korea. But then what happens is there'll be a, a, an easing in a particular country and and then they will shut that down because they'll get embarrassed that their kids are being taken care of by Americans who are coming there to, to adopt their kids. So they'll shut the whole thing down. Kids, yeah, there's been a ban on taking Russian kids out. Uh, but, I mean, look at her. She's actually crying. She's such a cult member. And they won't say who they're with. They just wear all black, which yeah. is fitting.
Yeah. Executioners. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Jakari Jackson. Jakari, uh, what's happened uh, since we've been uh, uh, talking the last few minutes uh, there at the demonstration? Okay, so things have really seemed to calm down by and large. The officer kind of chilled everybody out, but we still have people for and against the cause. But, you know, they're more peacefully coexisting at this moment. And so this is the scene right now. We have many more people. How many people do you think are here, man? It's a lot more. 30, 40? 30, 40. 30, 40. Okay, so 30, 40 or so. I think and, it looks more uh, like 50 or 60 because people are down the road there. We yeah, need more people, people to get out there, though, especially with the yeah. First Amendment being attacked. And we only started promoting good, this sir. three days ago, so good job, everybody. Just, that, that little girl was screaming earlier. The little girl was screaming earlier, and she, like, they actually believe that we want the babies to live and the mothers to die. Yeah. That's what she was screaming earlier. <laughs> they're just ignorant, and they have no idea what they're talking about. They don't understand that every time there's an abortion that happens, the woman is six times more likely to have breast cancer. My mother passed the breast cancer. I'm not anti-woman at all. But it's just they're so ignorant and they won't listen to you because they're just screaming racist in your face. Well, that's yeah. pretty much what, you know, a lot of these guys, that's all the argument is. You know, because guys like, you guys hate black people. I was like, I was in Ferguson where, you know, I got tear gas for people's First Amendment rights. Right. But I, Jakari, I'm, come on. It's yeah. obvious that you hate black people. Yeah, yeah, I hate black people every day <laughs> in my life. Person. You know, good, very good. Thank you, sir. <laughs> so, you know, these are the most ridiculous arguments they have is like, even if you're black, they'll say that you hate black people. If you're a woman, they say that you hate women. They have no argument or real basis. In Absolutely, reality. Jakari. Stay there. I'm going to come right back to you. we got to go to break from the demonstration just illustrating what the pro-death side is like. I mean, I knew rats would show up. In fact, I even predicted to do. I said the rat creatures will show up, and they crawl out of a hole. All right, folks, I'm incoming. I'm getting suited up here, and I'm about to leave the studio. We're about seven, eight minutes away from the Planned Parenthood mothership on 201 East Bend White, right off 290. And... Uh, Gucciardi just ran here and he said, come on, man, you got to get down there. I know my responsibility is to be here in studio, but I'll have a live feed down there. This should be interesting, so join me. I'll be there by the bottom of the hour, 1230 Central, right in the middle of the noon hour. Uh, and uh, there was a InfoWars magazine burning event by the Communist Action Group, as they call themselves. We're scanning their Facebook right now, but it appears that's this group. So see, just immediately. Oh, yeah. I mean, just immediately. Scum of the earth, if that's them. Well, their first choice, Alex, is to completely block speech. They don't Let's want to recap for folks that joined us. Yeah. I forgot to do it. Uh, tell us, David, what we're doing, what's happening. Well, we've got a, a, uh, a demonstration there. Basically, showing people the hypocrisy of the Black Lives Matter, that they're only concerned about what's going on with police brutality, and we're concerned about that as well. But we're also concerned about the black lives that have been destroyed by the millions since Roe v. Wade with abortion. And to point out that uh, Planned Parenthood was started by Margaret Sanger, somebody who made it very clear that she was targeting the black population for extermination as part of her eugenics uh, vision. Please bring my bullhorn in. Go ahead. So uh, that's that's why we're out there to to uh, protest. And I had counter protesters who showed up, if you could call them that. They came out in black suits with black signs, nothing on it. They didn't want to exercise their free speech to try to convince people that abortion was fine, that it was preferable. They had nothing to say. They wanted to stop our speech, with the exception of one that I've seen who came out there and says, Alex Jones is anti-woman, and when you when Jakari asked her, she just said, you're racist, you're sexist. Absolutely. That's Please bring a bullhorn in. I want to test it. I know they've got one of my other bullhorns down there, but just go ahead and bring it in the studio. So what they do is they use ad hominem attacks, they use charges of racism and sexism that are unsupported, but primarily they want to shut down other people's speech, just black it out. That's what they're doing with these signs that are out there. Keep going, Dave. What, they, what we saw earlier, and it's a perfect metaphor for the way they operate, is to, <laughs> and there's the, uh, there's the bullhorn you can hear in the background. Uh, what they wanted to do was to shut down people's free speech. And so we see them trying to hold black signs in front of other people's signs that have something written on them. And, of course, there was a back and forth. Uh, my wife and others were trying to put their signs lower and higher. Perfect metaphor for the way they operate. Again, as I said, it's either ad hominem attacks that are not supported or unsupported charges of racism and sexism, and they have nothing to say. Primarily, they just want to shut other people's free speech down. Yeah, well, I'm not going to shut their free speech down. I'm going to go down there and really talk about what's going on. 
You take over. I'll be back by the third hour. We'll open the phones up. I got a ton of news over here. We got Rand Paul clips we haven't gotten to yet. Uh, we've got um, this congressman saying there is no spying. You know, Rand Paul's lying. I mean, this Absolutely. is just over the top what's going on. But when you get scum of the earth, I don't know what they are, communist Easter bunnies, whatever they are, showing up, spewing total lies and trying to shut down the First Amendment, it just shows... Don't they know how bad they look doing this on TV and radio right now? Oh, it's a, it's a great photo op. I'm, I'm glad they did it. it. It's something that you can use. It's What they did is actually a metaphor for the way they operate everywhere. As you pointed out, Alex, they try to shut down the Internet. They try to shut down free speech everywhere they go. And here you can see it with people having signs, and, and they want to just take their black signs and hold it up over the other ones. Yeah, well, I'm coming, rats. <laughs> 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 All right, take over. I'll be back. Infowars.com, David Knight taking over. I'm jumping in the uh, I'm jumping in the old old Dodge Hellcat and going on down there. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Okay. Well, I mean, yes, the John Wayne of cars. You gotta have it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, stay with us. This is gonna be pretty amazing. Yeah, stay with us because you aren't gonna want to miss this. Uh, when Alex Jones confronts these uh, Marxist uh, people who just want to censor other people's speech. They don't want to uh, make an they argument for it Marxist. because what is your argument? I gotta tell you that a turning point for me. Uh, in terms of abortion, I had bought the argument as a libertarian that this is just about people's choice. We can't agree as to when life begins. And it was what they call partial birth abortion that was really the turning point for me, Alex. That was when I was, uh, it was actually I was doing a paper candidacy running for Congress. And people started asking me about partial birth abortion. It was something that was new. And when I understood what it was, that they took a mature baby, as Rand Paul points out, would you kill a seven pound baby? It just comes right down to that. And if the answer to that is true, then you start to realize what's behind all this. I had not understood what the eugenics agenda was. I hadn't understood that uh, that was really what was behind it. I believe that another thing that has really woke, waken people up is the idea that they can see these babies with what they call 4G ultrasound. Uh, they, 4D ultrasound. They can look at the children. They can see them moving inside the womb. They can see facial expressions. Now, you've seen the National Geographic specials where they take uh, unborn babies of elephants or dogs or other animals, and you can look at the animal inside the mother. You can make out the features. You can see them moving. Uh, that is something I think is a very, very powerful thing. That's what the lady was trying to do. Uh, coming out there, they do this on a regular basis. They talk to people who are considering abortion and they say, do you understand that this is a mature child that you may be killing? Do you understand that there are people out there who would willingly adopt your, this child and give it a life? It's not going to be a financial responsibility for it. At the same time, Planned Parenthood is trying to tell people that this child is going to cost you an incredible amount of money over your lifetime. They say this is going to cost uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars for you to raise this child. That is projecting everything back from the future into the current. It really isn't that much of a burden, as we all know, when you add an extra mouth to feed. Maybe you don't send the child to college. Maybe you don't make them a debt slave. We haven't sent our kids to college. We haven't encouraged them to go into debt for this. There are certain majors that you might want to go into for college. But, you know, for the most part, having a child is not a financial burden for people. It is a wonderful experience. As a parent, I would encourage everybody to have children, adopt children, do what you can. That's what we're trying to get people to understand. If they are in a position where they are a single individual, they can't, they're young, they can't take care of this child, understand that there are other people out there who are willing to do it for you. That's the key thing, to get people to understand that. I don't know if we have uh, Jakari on the, uh, on the uh, yeah, we do? Okay, Jakari, have you got somebody there you want to talk to? Hello, Jakari. Are you yes. there? Yes. Hello, David. Okay, yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. Okay, yes, we're out here uh, at the scene and we're going to move around a little bit and talk to the to the officer. Hey, excuse me, officer. I'm just curious. Uh, what what's the law? What what do we need to do to stay compliant with uh, the wishes of the city? You can stay in between the sidewalk and the telephone poles. Sidewalk. Telephone yeah, the poles. bank just called. They don't want you on the property. So if you stay in between the sidewalk and the telephone poles, that way you're not blocking the sidewalk. You're not bothering anybody else. Another business. Very good, sir. Otherwise, go on do the good things. Thank you, sir. All right. Nice officer there. So we'll try to stay compliant. If anybody's going to come out here and join us, make sure you stand between the sidewalk 
in the telephone poles. If you see any pedestrians, try to give them a little bit of space to move around. And Well, you know, Jakari, uh, Alex is on his way, so he's going to be joining you. Uh, and that's going to be your job to try to keep him in the confined free speech oh, area yeah, there. That's, that, <laughs> that's a job I look forward to. Let's talk to your wife, David. Okay. All right. Uh, come on. Come on in. Let's, let's talk. So, no, no, no. So, do you have any questions that you'd like to ask your, your wife, David? Yeah, tell us about uh, that guy trying to hide your sign, Karen. Okay, so he says, tell us about the guy who's trying to hide your sign. Well, he was uh, abusive verbally, and I do have it on tape. I sent it to you. I don't know if you got it. Um, I, I don't know what I, to tell you about it. I could see her holding abusive. her sign low when he would go high and high when he'd go low. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you. We'll, we'll keep moving around. All right. So, as you can see, uh, most people are being compliant here. The officer came in, and look, you see this gentleman trying to hold up his sign, and he's being blocked yeah. by the tarp. Perfect example. Perfect example. There's the metaphor for how the authoritarians want to shut down free speech. They don't have anything to say. They know they can't win the argument, so they just want to shut your speech down. They could That's make right. their own signs, they could make their own arguments, but instead they want to shut speech down because, Jakari, they don't have a way to win this argument. What are you doing? Yeah. All right, now, Pete, now, Pete now, you've been out here for a while. What do you think about it so far? I love it. I love it because, man, uh, whether the attention's negative or positive, man, the light's on it. The, man, the truth is being exposed, and you're either going to have to pick a side or get out the way, man, because you know what? We got to defend the kids. That's really why I came out here, because, man, you know, at, on and it's, and it's all the kids, you know what I mean? Because it's not just yeah. the black kids or the Hispanic kids. It's all the kids. You know, yeah. I want everybody's kids to have yeah. a chance in this world, but we can't do that if we have all these Planned Parenthoods out here doing an abortion. And they'll say to you that abortion is only one aspect of what Planned Parenthood does, which, okay, fine, but if they didn't have that one aspect, nobody would be out here right now. And, you know, on a spiritual level, this is an attack on children and if we want to maintain the moral high ground then we have to stop this that's we can't we, we cannot let this continue yeah that's good that's that's a real good point to make this is yes i'm sorry off the record okay well the officer is asking uh, to talk to me off the record so if you guys will just uh, give me a moment here Okay, so I guess we'll uh, we'll take you off of the air right now. You know, we were talking about how Planned Parenthood will come to the uh, to the pregnant ladies and try to tell them how unaffordable it's going to be for them to have children. But understand that when it comes to dollars and cents, the abortion industry has probably has made about twenty seven trillion dollars off of this since Roe v. Wade. Look at the fifty four million children that have been killed with abortion. Multiply that out by the average cost of 500. That's what I get is $27 trillion. It's big business. It's about money for them. But they also have a eugenics agenda that they think sets them apart from the rest. They won't talk about that. They will only hold up black signs in front of other people's signs that are explaining what's really going on here. Stay with us. We're going to be right back. You won't want to miss Alex Jones showing up to confront these censors at the anti-abortion rally. We'll be right back. We've just had Alex Jones go to the Black Lives Matter protest that is taking place in Austin. Uh, he's going to be there live. You aren't going to want to miss this because Alex is upset, as he should be. Black Lives Matter, that's the hashtag that's been put out there in terms of trying to get people to stop police brutality. Of course, police brutality is not directed only at black lives. It's directed at everyone. But as Alex has pointed out, they're the beta test. They're bearing the brunt of this in disproportionate numbers. But if black lives matter in police brutality, don't black lives matter in terms of abortion? That's the whole point of this. Abortion has been disproportionately targeted towards the black community. The founder of Planned Parenthood, Margaret Sanger, made it very clear that's why she was creating this, to get rid of undesirable ethnic groups, and she put black people in that category. She famously said, they have a choice, these people. They can, we can either have segregation or we can have sterilization. That's what this is about. So we showed up to, uh, to protest the Planned Parenthood site and to use this Black Lives Matter to get people to think more broadly about this. And we had counter demonstrators, and I use that term loosely because they showed up dressed in black, 
carrying black signs and trying to hold them in front of the banners of the people who had shown up to protest. They didn't have any speech that they wanted to counter. They didn't have anything they wanted to say. They just want to shut down your free speech. A wonderful visual, a wonderful metaphor for the way the authoritarians work. Typically the left. Understand, too, that most of these people who have been proclaiming themselves as pro-life for the last 40 years are also the ones pro-choice, I'm sorry, not pro-life, the ones who've been calling themselves pro-choice are the ones who are working the hardest to take away your informed consent, trying to force vaccines on you, on your family, on your children. They don't want freedom of choice. They don't want freedom of speech. You can see that in this demonstration where they show up and just try to cover up other people's signs. And the only person who wrote anything on a sign, it was to say that uh, that InfoWars is anti-women. And she had nothing to say except you're sexist and you're racist. That's what we see. If they ever say anything, they just rehash those same old tired cliches. And they have become cliches. And it's a shame because there really is racism out there. And when they use it like that, when they cry wolf, that is what is really concerning. Uh, Jakari, are you there? Yes, yes, I am, Jay. All right, tell us what you see right now at the uh, site. And uh, Jakari is on site there at the demonstration in front of Planned Parenthood. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, we're still out here in front of the Planned Parenthood. We have several people out here now, at least, you know, 50, 60 or so. We're staying over here because there's been a lot of uh, profanity used over there uh, amongst some of the others. So we're trying to stay and have a, a clean feed. But, you know, it's a pretty peaceful scene. We had a chance to talk to one of the officers, and I do have a correction for all the people who heard uh, what Alex said earlier. He gave the incorrect address. This is 201. The 501 address was actually the strip club down the street. Don't go to the strip <laughs> okay. club. Come up to the Planned Parenthood at 201 East Ben White. You'll, well, you can't miss us. You know, you got, you know, uh, 50, 60, 100 people out here. Yeah, so it's going to be real hard to miss us. If you're on Ben White, you're going to see that because it's a large crowd of people, even if you don't uh, see the, the Planned Parenthood sign. Absolutely. Yeah, so uh, come on out, be peaceful. The officers are requesting that we stand between the sidewalks and the telephone poles. That's to not infringe on anybody's property, not just the Planned Parenthood, but that's also a bank and a Wendy's. So uh, be respectful to them, be respectful to their employees, most definitely. If they ask you to please step back, just go ahead and do that. Because our fight isn't with the bank. It's uh, we're fighting against the, uh, the killing of our children. It's not just black children. And people say, why Black Lives Matter? You know, why do you want to take uh, attention away from the police? It's... It doesn't stop with the police. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is an issue, but we also understand that this is one of the biggest killers of black in our, blacks in our country, and it's the Planned Parenthood. And That's it's right. not just the blacks, it's the white children and the brown children and all the children, David. That's right. Just like police brutality, it affects all races, all, uh, uh, all groups. But it's important that people understand that this abortion industry was created specifically to target blacks with eugenics, with genocide. That's what they need to understand. That's the point that we're trying to make. And clearly, you should understand if, if you understand that blacks are being singled out. And we saw that uh, that clip that was that, that surfaced this weekend of a uh, open carry uh, test. They had a white guy with a rifle shouldered over uh, on his shoulder, and they had a black guy. And they showed very graphically how the police reacted totally differently to the two individuals. So we understand that there's an issue. With the police, we understand that uh, black people are being targeted with that, but we also need to understand that they are hey, being David. targeted with Planned Parenthood. Go ahead, Jakari. Hey, David, uh, we have a we have a gentleman here. He has something he'd like to share with us. What's your yeah. name, sir? My name is Father Christopher Terry. I'm uh, a religious uh, Dominican priest, uh, and uh, I normally go to the Planned Parenthood down. Uh, in Houston on the I-45. Hang on, we got to go to a break. We're going to be right back. Tell them to stay right there. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight in the studio. The reason I'm here and Alex isn't is because he is on his way to a Black Lives Matter protest. Alex was absolutely infuriated. He grabbed his bullhorn and he's on his way down there because we were holding a demonstration to try to get people to understand that black lives matter no matter how old the people are. It isn't just the police brutality, but it's also the direct eugenics agenda of Planned Parenthood's founder, Margaret Sanger, specifically targeting the black community. We're trying to wake people up to that. Just before we went to the break, uh, Jarkari, do you still have uh, uh, the uh, priest who was there that you were talking to? 
Yes, I do, David. Yeah, let's go back so to we that. Have the uh, gentleman here. Please. Yes, go ahead. Now, sir, uh, we have to keep moving around, but just take us a couple minutes and just tell us uh, who you are and what you were telling me during the break. Okay. Um, yes, uh, my name is Father Christopher Terry. I'm a religious priest, the uh, Order of Preachers, uh, Dominican, famous for the Spanish Inquisition. But I came up here in solidarity uh, with, uh, well, trying to network with InfoWars, but also uh, with the other pro-lifers here. And, and you were telling me some things about the Catholic Church during the break? Yes, I usually go to the uh, I-45 Planned Parenthood Clinic in Houston. There's only a few of us, you know, two or three. And it is the largest late-term abortion clinic in the uh, Western world, not just the Western Hemisphere, but in the Western world. Its sister clinic is in China, South China, and they're both run by the same organization, Planned Parenthood, Planned Parenthood International. So um, the establishment of this clinic uh, in Houston was actually um, um, done uh, by a Catholic bishop who is now a cardinal, Cardinal DiNardo. And no one's more responsible for winning the one vote from Bart Stupak that passed Obamacare than Cardinal DiNardo and uh, Bishop World, or Cardinal World in Washington, D.C. Now the, those and with the National Conference of Catholic Bishops working for so-called immigration uh, reform, i.e. amnesty. Cardinal DiNardo and uh, uh, Cardinal World have received uh, almost $35 million of taxpayers' money in order to facilitate through the Catholic Church, um, Catholic charities, and also... Uh, All right, sir, well, thank you. we got to keep moving. appreciate you. All right, well, look who just joined us here. Alex is there. You came out here to stand up for the unborn. We're a big target. God bless you all. You're amazing. And millions of people will now know about how we really save all the babies, including the black babies. All of you out here are simply amazing. God bless you all. And we've seen the demons out of hell that have literally crawled up out of the gutter to try to restrict the First Amendment. They will fail. When Roe v. Wade was passed and ran through the Supreme Court back in 1973, 55% of Americans in Gallup supported abortion. Now it's over 70% that are against it. We are winning! The truth is coming out, ladies and gentlemen, and God bless you all. The, the enemies of freedom are so disgusting and evil that they won't even say who they are, like the Klan we have in these photographs. And they don't understand that restricting free speech only shows them to be the flaming totalitarians that they are. But right now, three million people are listening to us, and millions more will watch the video, hundreds of thousands see it now, their attempt to silence free speech has failed! The answer to their 1984 tyranny is 1776! Pro-human, pro-liberty, freedom is rising! And it will never be silenced! Never! As the enemy presses across the planet, to silence humanity's awakening, it will only kindle greater fires in the hearts of men and women that will burn down the tyranny. It is here, it is a peaceful revolution, a paradigm shift, and I salute the info warriors of every race, color, and creed across the globe. Yeah. Margaret Sanger, person of the year twice in Time Magazine, they want to put her on the $20 bill, literally taught Hitler everything he knew. And they do not want that information coming out. Well, guess what? Yeah, go ahead. It is coming out. Guess what? It is coming out. Stay behind. And we are not going to be stopped from getting this information out. 
We are going to continue to get all of this information out, and we're never going to stop. Because the enemy climbed out from under a rock to come to this satanic temple of human sacrifice to protect their gods, blood sacrifices, it will now blow up in their face and be ten times bigger when the headlines come out that socialist pro-death scum try to censor the First Amendment, try to stop demonstrations. This is Alex Jones. He's live at the demonstration. The Satanic Temple! That's exactly what it is, and we're exposing it. Bullet. Just like we were fighting the abortion at the Capitol, they had women standing around chanting, Hail Satan! It's a sacrament to kill their babies. Women that have been tricked and had abortions, God forgives them, and we're, none of us are here to judge. I have been involved in abortions when I was younger, and I wish I never would have done it. What matters is your heart, and all those that love this system, they love death. And that's why the, uh, the the disciples of this always are the same. And they have the same dead look in their eyes. And they wear the same black robes as high priest Satanists. Because they are out here promoting this and they can't stand it. And now because of their totalitarian evil, everyone is seeing them here trying to shut down free speech. Imagine and thank God every day that we didn't crawl out from under rocks like the lowest forms of anti-human trash that dare to call themselves liberal when they are the literal scum of the planet. Is this the best the devil can offer? Is these weaklings? Is this the god of this world that everyone wants to serve and fall out to when the servants are worse than Gollum? I'm telling you right now, their whole system is destined from the foundations of this earth to fall. And we stand with the innocents. We stand with the truth. We stand against the New World Order. And their 1984 system will fall. Liberty and the awakening and the pro-human movement and the pro-life movement is rising. percent of EPA and FDA scientists joined us in letters to their chief saying remove fluoride, it's a chemical weapon to brain damage the people, and the federal government has announced the beginning of the removal of the fluoride. Devastating victory, devastating victory against death. Praise God for that. Huge victories. Glyphosate's being sued and shut down. Countries all over are declaring it a cancer weapon. We're winning that war when they said they couldn't be stopped. No! The people standing for truth and liberty are invincible! Yeah. Ah. Ah. I'm sick of the weak devil worshiping scum! They're filth! And it's time for good people who have the real strength of life to stand up against this filth! Right. Carl, you get in there. Get in there and let them know. This is Come live at the uh, Black Lives I'm Matter happy, rally in front of a Come on, do it! I definitely thank everybody for coming out here today. God bless you, brother. your support because we have many people who don't want this message to get out there. They choose not to speak. When they are given the opportunity, they just come out to you, they come out to you. If you're black, they'll call you a racist. If you're a woman, they'll call you a sexist. And that's all the argument you have. But I think everybody who came out here today to support us, and thank you, it's not you're supporting us, you're supporting the lives of these children, not just black children, white children, Hispanic children, yellow children, all the children all around the world. And it's not just with, when you uh, come out against Planned Parenthood, when you come out against the police brutality, it's everything they're doing to all of us. So it's not one of us, it's all of us together standing against this tyranny. Keep going, Shakari. I guess Alex blew out his voice. They're going to the dumpsters back there. They need to stop. That's right. They That's right. The babies in the dumpsters. That's right. They're dehumanizing us. They're teaching us we're crap and we're not. They Suffer. They're biohazard. They're people. Tell us. Tell us. They're not trash. They're people. Look at these provocateurs. They're Look at this scum. Which one's the provocateur? Come on, he was no, 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 no. That's not no. true. All y'all need guy. to stop, man. That's not true. true. Don't tell lies on Hey, Facebook. punk, why don't you push somebody your own size? That's not how it happened. Go ahead. That's Go ahead. Touch me and see what happens. That's Alex, fun, relax. Man. That's not how it happened. Go ahead. You want to pick on an old cripple man? That's not what happened. That's not what happened. I, I, I,
I it's saw not what happened. You no, one of you touches you me, you're going to you find out. First of all, I'm not on that side, idiot. Why don't you abort yourself? And this is live at the Planned Parenthood clinic in Austin. I guess we could call it a clinic. I don't really think it's a clinic. That's what they call it. Face. You've been getting in everybody's face since you got here. You know why? You know why? Because him. people like you are uh, mind control. That's right. We're trying to. Yeah. I don't mean you not mind control. You out here provocateurs. <laughs> Look at you getting in everybody's I face. Put you pointing your finger in everybody's side, face. Man. Hey, how many fingers you got pointing at you? I just stopped the fight. You go ahead and start the fight, man. I just you want to start the fight. The fight. Man, I just free protected speech. free speech. Idiot. All right, well, if that's the case, then let's shut it down. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, the bottom line is, where's the photo of Margaret Sanger with the Klan? Let's show folks that. You that's what, Lord of the Rings earlier. That's what, that's what people need to understand. Oh, well, you actually want to talk? Are we a little communist action force? Tell us who you're with. Tell us who you're with. That's all I want to do is save the babies. I don't want to fight. I just want to save the babies. We're talking about human lives. You're sacrificing them. You got them inside the cage so they don't escape. Man, I... If you're not going to have the moral high ground if you keep killing these kids. And if you're against the babies being killed, if you're for the babies being killed, man, you're not going to survive this thing. You are not. And if you're against babies, I feel bad for That's you. That's how the enemy gets the hedge of protection to be brought down. We see our country becoming cursed. Now, listen, you guys are out here trying to block people's free speech. Announce yourself. I'm just trying to promote free peace. I'm doing my free peace. I'm uh -huh, trying to block people's signs. You, you, exactly. You don't have anything but a black shroud of death to make sure nobody thinks about what's happening to those kids inside. Oh, well, no, he is in, he's in favor of killing babies. Yeah, I know. He's out here trying to block our free speech. It's called abortion. He you can't do that. He doesn't have an intellectual. Whoever sent these guys out here, whatever, UT professor or whatever, told them don't talk. Because they're dumber than a box of rocks. Says the guy who we're sitting there. Says the guy that what? I have nothing to say to you, Alex Jones. That's right, because you're such a trendy. You're garbage. Oh, I'm you're garbage. You're absolutely Just garbage. like the babies? Guess what? My mother didn't didn't kill me. I was born in 74. Oh, yeah, you failed. You failed. Explain yourself. Why can't y'all just explain Hey, all those that hate God love death, and you just enjoy your life, buddy. Why I'm glad you picked your side. Babies are aborted. You think that's okay? Half the black people never got born after 74. Do you think that's okay? I have nothing to say to you guys. You have nothing to say. There you go. Because they can't talk. They don't have anything to say. And Planned Parenthood was founded by the queen of the Klan. Check out this guy's shirt. Red shirt. Red shirt. Look at this. What's it say? Multi-death corporations. Hey, look, that's Planned Parenthood. Look at all the dead bodies right there. It's classic. But see, weak people get into death because they're subconsciously afraid of it. It's like a moss of flame. They fly towards it. They're not even conscious enough to realize why they revel in it. But then when they're all into death and all their motifs are death and what they produce is death, they then turn around and tell us that we are the bad people. It's absolutely unbelievable, but I want to, look, I know you're trying to shut down free speech on the campuses and everywhere else, people like you, your spirit, and I'm glad you came out to show everybody who you are. You will save thousands of children now, bare minimum, as this goes viral with All Black Lives Matter. You, you, no weapon formed against us shall prosper, demon. Thank you so much for what you've done. All the promises are being fulfilled, and they will continue to be fulfilled. That's right. I guarantee you. I'm telling you right now. First Amendment beats the heck out of those. It is unbelievable. I mean, I love how it's like a, a, a like a like a dead brown shroud. I guess that they cover the babies with. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Imagine out here, even if you're for abortion, out here celebrating this this death camp founded by Hitler's queen. I mean, this is unbelievable. I want to give David Knight uh, a few minutes to speak. I don't have any audio. So, David Knight, you take a minute or two out. I'll cut back in in a second. What we have seen here at this rally, and again, the reason that Alex Jones went there was because unknown to us, unexpected by us, we had a lot of people show up to supposedly counter the uh, protesters there. They showed up with nothing except for black shrouds to put over the signs talking and exposing about what's going on at Planned Parenthood. We should have guessed it, I guess, because we've seen this before. When we went to cover a, uh, 
uh, an a gun control rally at the Capitol. These minions, they won't talk to us. Well, I went yeah. up to Go a ahead, get back to Alex. Gabriel and uh, start to talk to him. Just really, you know, hey, man, you know about Margaret Sanger? Do you know who that is? They didn't even know who that was. Really? You don't know who the founder of Planned Parenthood was? And I said, no. And I said, and then I showed him, well, she was affiliated with the Klan, and it's really part of a eugenics program. Are you about eugenics, right? No, what does that word mean? I don't know what the word eugenics means. So, you know, that's the point, that we're ignorant. People don't know what the word eugenics means, so they don't really know. And then you have other people here trying to um, hide my signs, blocking my free speech. They're so intellectually vapid, they have nothing to say, so all they can do is cover my sign up. And I went up to him and said, hey, what do you got? Come at me, man. Come on, argue with me. How am I wrong? And they're just sitting there. With a, and I said, this guy's a clown. This Mr. Beard Boy here holding up black paper is just a clown. Go up to him and talk to him about history, about philosophy. Well, listen, is this the best, is this the, best the New World Order can offer? It's just a vapid sense of MySpace, YouTube, Facebook. It's all about me. It's all this new meme that I'm smarter than you, I'm better than you. And it's like this. And they get off on they get off on rationing health care to old people, to the veterans, to babies. The, the socialists, I mean, they get off on, well, they got to cut it off so we get more. It's just, it's just so stupid. Zero sum paradigm. It's a zero sum game. If 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 I, if I don't get it, then you're getting it from me. Instead of that, we can collaborate and have synergy. No, it's all of the zero sum mentality. Instead of having win win situations, it's like, well, if you take money from them, then I'm not going to get it. So I'm going to be against giving the the people their pension funds because that's going to you know exactly. It's pure crap. We can build whatever we want. We've got total potential. We're built in the image of the Creator. We're great builders. Look what we've done. And uh, again, I'm ranting and raving here. Pretty fired up, David. Night. Uh, I, we may have skipped this network break. Uh, Houston, did we skip the break? No, we're still going. We're still going. We're coming up to the break, and we're going to come right okay, back. Okay, we skipped we have the break. A... I can't skip all of these, and that's what that's what I bring us to now here. Okay, I'm going to move on the down break? the road here. A moment. Yep, we did skip the break. I was told that in my ear. Were we? Yes or no, guys? Uh, okay, great. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, again, we're working this out. It's real news, real information, teleprompter free. And I heard crosstalk there and was trying to ascertain that for sure. We've gone an hour and 50 minutes into this transmission. I think we've already skipped three breaks. That'll cost the network and myself because I have half the ads. That's part of my radio operation. Uh, probably $10,000. So I just blew $10,000 today because I get so excited that I can't even go to break. That's why you need to support InfoWars.com, InfoWars Life, InfoWarsStore.com, because we are a warfare operation against the globalist. Just yesterday, I was looking at our accounting to see if I can even send reporters to Bilderberg this year. I know I can send Paul Watson, but I want to be able to send some of the other people. I'll be with you in just a second, sir. Thank you for being here. And. It is so important that people buy the t-shirts, the books, the videos, uh, everything. It is so important, all of you, so that we can stand against the enemy, have the equipment, have the great crew, build this TV system to bring real truth to the planet, not just North America or the United States. So please go to InfoWarsLife.com, the special 20% off super male, super female vitality. That is going to be uh, ending this Sunday. We've got the Silver Bullet, all the other products, the great high quality water filtration systems. Everything we sell is the very best we can get to also have value because it's about win-win, that same philosophy that, uh, that Gabriel was just talking about. So I've gone an hour and 52 minutes now without mid-air refueling. We need you to fund our operation. We need you to pray for us. We need you to buy the products. We need you to spread the word about InfoWars.com. We need everybody to send the link right now to friends and family, InfoWars.com forward slash show for the free video feed. We need people to be PrisonPlanet.tv members to see all the films and get the nightly news. That subscription, that's about to launch on TV very, very soon. Big announcements coming soon on that front. And Again, we see the pathetic enemy out here like a bunch of jellyfish who are just soulless, dim-eyed, shark-eyed, great white-eyed, uh, dead vessels. They are sucked dry, just mindless idiots who hate life and hate freedom and hate free speech. In fact, uh, CJ's looking into it, but we believe this is the same group that had a Facebook thing burning my magazines uh, a month ago. And, I mean, this is just incredible how totalitarian these type of groups and affiliated groups are, and they won't even say who they are. It is simply over the top, and that's what we stand against. And every time we stand against the enemy, every time we speak out against them, whether it's TPP or whatever the globalist operation is, it folds 
whenever we stand against them, but then they just keep coming back. That's why we need more people to get involved. We need more people to take action and expose what these globalists and their minions are up to, because once we actually face them on the field, they are pathetically disgusting, soul-sucked jellyfish that have had their humanity sucked right out of their eyeballs. And folks are driving by, they're honking. God bless everybody. We got a lot of people coming by saying they appreciate us. And it just comes down to the fact that that humanity is awakening on hundreds of fronts. How are you doing, sir? Very well. I'm Father Christopher Terry. I just wanted to give you this book. John Quincy Adams and the Grand Strategy for the Republic. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. What do you think of this event out here? We only planned it for about three days, but now they're spreading around the country, thank to a Reverend uh, Childress. Well, I have a deep admiration for InfoWars, and uh, it's very important that InfoWars, uh, in a sense, spearheads also the pro-life movement, because certainly the National Conference of Catholic Bishops, Pope Francis, have completely turned their back on the pro-life movement. Um, and Alex, I, uh, I've, I've always written to InfoWars. I know very, very much about the, the Vatican and, and Pope Francis, their involvement, uh, Cardinal DiNardo down in Houston and uh, DC Cardinal Whirl, their involvement in Obamacare, getting that passed, their involvement now in child sex slave trafficking victims through the Wilberforce Act 2008, They've gotten over $30 million uh, between. Well, I know you've probably written us letters. I've, I've missed them or don't remember them. I get so much mail, about 200 pieces oh, no, a day. I but understand. No, 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 but send us some information again. Attention, Rob, do, and I'll, and I'll try to look at it. Okay. What do you think of these guys trying to censor free speech out here? It, it's horrible, but it's, this is a satanic operation. And you ask them, explain yourself. They're like zombies. They're like satanic zombies. So you're more well-spoken than I. They are satanic zombies. Yes. Uh, and Planned Parenthood, you know, the memo uh, 200, Kissinger and Nixon, Planned Parenthood becomes the sword of depopulation of skull and bones, CIA. Planned Parenthood with Bill and Melinda Gates is involved in forced abortion in China. That's come out in the news. But the law, I come from Houston and I go to the I-45 Planned Parenthood. It is the largest late-term abortion clinic, not just in the Western Hemisphere, in the Western world. The largest one is in Shanghai, South China. They're both run by Planned Parenthood. That's right, and they take people there, uh, according to the records, for forced abortions. So next it'll be forced abortion, and you're not for a woman's right if you don't want to make her kill her baby. Absolutely. It's just, it, it, this is the end. It's uh, sexual suicide, Christendom, and the Republic are ending in sexual suicide, the destruction of the family, and, of course, mass annihilation through abortion. It, it couldn't be worse. It couldn't, and they sacrifice those babies to Satan. Well, it's come out, a lot of them have admitted that they, they are Satanist, and it's a sacrament to them. It's total abomination. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. Thanks for coming out. All right, folks, uh, Jakari Jackson's been leading this thing. I kind of came down here and hijacked uh, our operation because... Uh That'll be a new conspiracy at a hijack my own demonstration. Again, I want to thank you all for coming out here. We're going to be out here for another hour. David Knight's back at the studio. Uh, I know we can't skip this break coming up here in just a moment. David Knight, uh, take us out to break. We're going to come back and talk to some more of these folks, okay? All right, we'll do, Alex. As we've seen before, when we go to cover these rallies, it was at the state capitol that we were covering a gun control rally. And there were two protesters there protesting gun control, holding up signs that this was a, going to be about banning all firearms. If you remember that clip that we pulled out where the uh, mayor pro tem said, you hang on to that sign. We're not doing that just yet, but we're going to make that sign come true. Well, it was also at that rally that everyone else there tried to cover up the signs of just two protesters who were there, two counter protesters. They could not allow them to hold their sign up. They wanted to cover it up. That's precisely what we've seen here at this protest at the Planned Parenthood site in Austin. Rather than showing up and telling people why they should have an abortion or try to push back against any arguments, they simply want to censor other people's free speech. When we come back after the break, we're going to talk about an article that's up on Infowars.com about how this is happening across college campuses. Free speech zones. Permission to exercise your First Amendment because they don't respect 
the right to life. They don't respect the right to keep and bear arms. And they don't respect your free speech. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Back to the Alex. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host in the studio. Alex is headed to the Black Lives Matter protest in front of Planned Parenthood in Austin, outraged by attempts to shut down freedom of speech. We're going to join Alex right now live in front of Planned Parenthood. Go ahead, Alex. Absolutely. And we're here. Uh, I'm seeing new crowds come all the time. Probably about 60 people here now. A lot of new faces. People just pop through for 20 minutes, go back to work. Like Mr. Jackson. Doing, not sir? Good, sir. Not Jakari Jackson. Another Jackson. <laughs> you just pop by real quick. What's yes, your sir. take on this? I think we should save the babies, have this place shut down. Just get rid of all this stuff. Absolutely. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, God bless America. All right, brother. Give me some help, brother. All right, absolutely. Uh, um, sir? Yeah, people just don't know. People just don't know this information. It's up to everyone to, to break out of their comfort zone and tell the people that they're uncomfortable telling about this information so that we can spread it to everyone. Absolutely. Force, Force, a, debate. Debate. Force a debate on this. You know? Absolutely. Jesse, Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, Obama, they want to have a debate on this. And yeah, this is really the big deal. Sir, what's your take on all this? Yeah. Well, well, I've been studying uh, Margaret Singer for years. She's she's the killer. She's the so, yeah, she is. She really is. Most people, it's good work that you're doing educating people because most people don't know about it at all. You know, I was at ACC about a couple months ago, and she was there in a, in a black women's conference, and uh, it was ridiculous, the, the amount of ignorance. That I mean, some of the representatives. Right, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's a great work. What do you think of the folks out here saying we're racist and Jakari's racist uh, because we don't want to have half the blacks killed? Well, I would ignore them. I, that's what I would do. I would ignore them if I was you. What do you call these fake liberals that are actually racists like Margaret Sanger who then take the moral high ground and say if you don't want to kill 57 million or 56 million babies you're racist. It's deception. That's all it is. Deception. deception. You know it better than I do. You know, you've done massive research. No, enough about me. You guys are the people out here and I salute you all. Who else wants to get on this mic and say a few words? Anything else, brother? No, just try to, try to. I just always uh, encourage how it's so easy for you to get out there and speak your mind and all that. And that really motivates me and gives me a lot of courage to question, you know, whatever we have to question about uh, uh, our government. I'm a veteran, but uh, it's always good to, to question everything. And I'm, you know, I'm, it just, it's just, I'm motivated by you always questioning everything. It's awesome. That's what I'm trying to do. God bless you. Ma'am, do you have anything you'd like to add? I just cannot believe that anybody stands for this, to have this many babies killed every day. This has got to stop. And now it's put the vets on a don't treat list. Now it's kill the old people. Right. I mean, it's just it's never going to end. No, it's never going to end unless we stop it. Unless everybody stands up as, a, as one and stops it. Absolutely. Um, who else wants to jump in here? A conception should not be a death sentence. God bless you, Alex. God bless you, my friend. What's up? It's a natural progression of people who hate themselves. Once they realize that we're all the same and everyone, there's a part of us in everyone, then they realize that they're just killing themselves. So. Well, that's it. When they're killing any baby, I feel it in my soul and I get mad. Well, it's we're all I mean, mad. I'll be honest, I didn't come out here because I have really aggressive feelings towards these, these demons. Yeah, I mean, we're all connected. At Which one of them would have hit me? <laughs> As you rise to higher levels of consciousness, you realize that everyone's connected and you can kind of feel what everyone else is feeling. So, you know, you just have to realize that. And if you treat everyone else the way you wanted to be treated, you know, you can't go wrong with the golden rule. I don't know why it's that. Well, that's what I've done in my life, and God's only blessed me and protected me. Oh, absolutely. And we're all connected in the end with, you know, a higher spirit and a higher power that will eventually bring us all together. So. Well, I think the, the, the wicked side is getting really scared because there is a human consciousness happening. Well, the wicked side knows that the good always wins in the end. It's written in every major book and every story from Lord of the Rings to The Matrix to every motion picture. It all comes from the same source. So they know, the archetype. They know they're going to lose. So, you know, they're clawing at the bits to try to make it. And... At the end of the day, when you know you're going to lose, you're going to try everything, but... Did you see, and I'm not trying to be mean, how soulless those guys were? Their eyes were all dead. Oh, I mean, they can't even talk or have a conversation. I don't know why you would come out here and try to protest something unless you're just being brainwashed and told what to do by someone else. It's the inability of someone to think for themselves and decide, this is good, this is bad, this is helpful, this is not. It's just uh, basically automatons from, you know, the stuff in the water. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight in studio. Alex has gone to the rally in front of the Planned Parenthood facility. Of course, people showed up to shut down freedom of speech. They didn't show up with counter signs. They showed up with tarps to cover up the signs of the people who are protesting Planned Parenthood. 
Alex, I just got a uh, text from my wife. She was there. She said, uh, you did it. When you showed up, they dropped their tarps and ran off. And she says she's got one of their tarps as a souvenir. <laughs> Amazing. Well, we're down here pointing out that all black lives matter, all lives matter, and that the very people who want to literally wipe out black Americans uh, through Planned Parenthood on record are the ones trying to create this whole race war and garbage off some of these tragedies. So we're pointing out the real organized genocide with the documented proof. We're talking to a lot of great folks. Sir, give us your take on all this. Yeah, I think that uh, if we're going to continue forward as a country... Excuse us! Yeah, we need what to us! Excuse us! Oh, they're coming back. They He's breaking the mic. He's breaking the mic. He's breaking the mic. Pushing people, grabbing the mic. Uh, we're just assaulted. Get the cops. Get the cops. That guy's, we got the witness. I guess they don't Do realize this is being broadcast live. Too stupid to know that. Now he's hitting. <laughs> Hey. All right, that's clear assault. Get the police over here. Do you, do you have audio? He tried to take the mic. I got video. Do we have audio? They came in and tried to drag the uh, He's mic He's coming off, at me again right now. Yelling, excuse us, excuse us, and, and, and came back as a group. Go ahead. This is amazing. These people don't have anything to say. They just want to shut your free speech down. Bro, you got to chill, bro. You got to say this. I take him down. Take him down. Okay. Yeah, we got this is insane. Push and shove. This guy was totally demon possessed. Unbelievable. You get the police here right now. Look, another minion attacking. Get out of here. Get the. You people are devil worshippers, and we see it. Your God's fallen. You're a fucking bitch. Your God's fallen. Catch that guy. You're weak. Your God's weak. God bless you, brother. Thank you, Thank you sir. Look at these guys. Oh, I just came in and punched Alex. I just pulled out his mic, uh, so we just lost the mic. Hit and run. That's the tactic that they do. They try to shut down your free speech. You need to understand that these people who have been telling us that they're pro-choice for so long are the ones who are, he's running off trying to steal a mic. They're chasing him down. I think he actually got the microphone, pulled it off of the cord. Um, they're, they're following him now. These are the people telling you that they're pro-choice. They want to shut down all of your choice about not only which insurance company, what level of coverage you're going to have. They want to shut down your choice about vaccines. They want to force inject you. It's a medical tyranny. They don't want to have a discussion about uh, anything. They don't have any signs. They just come up to shut down our signs. What we're trying to do, and as one of the callers that was the, one of the uh, people at the protest uh, pointed out, when he talks to people about genocide, they don't even understand what he's talking about. They say uh, they're, they're just profoundly ignorant, and they don't understand or know about the conspiracy quotes from Margaret Sanger. It's not a theory. There's conspiracy quotes where she says she wants to do genocide, shut down the black people, shut down the undesirable races. As she said, we're either going to segregate them or we are going to sterilize them. She was the founder of Planned Parenthood, and as the uh, one of the protesters there said, when he talks to people, they don't know anything about the origins of Planned Parenthood. They don't know who Margaret Sanger is. They've never read any of the things that she said. And they don't even understand what eugenics or genocide are about. They're profoundly ignorant. That's why it's an information war. Right now, they got the uh, microphone back, I think, and they're trying to get this hooked up here. Okay, demons. there we go. Here's Alex. Can you hear anything, Alex? Okay, Alex, you're back. We got you live. Can you hear us? Okay, what happened was we had a momentary... Uh, <laughs> A guy uh, ran up. Did you see that demon? I mean, no fight with him. Do we have audio yet? You got audio. Go ahead. Go ahead, Alex. You got audio. He can't hear us. The guy came up and, uh, and uh, assaulted Alex and grabbed the microphone and ran off. They chased him down and got the microphone back. And uh, Alex is still trying to get uh, connected up. He can't hear that we're here. Yes, go ahead. You're on. Go ahead. Can you hear me, David? Yes, I got you. Go ahead, Alex. Yes. Okay, uh, thank God we always take two bullhorns because we've had MSNBC attack us with knives and, and cut the cord before at the uh, DNC in Denver. Uh, we, ju we just got attacked again. They're arresting him over here. Let's get the footage. I'll go tell the police what happened. Uh, all of this is unfolding. We had it all on footage. A literal vampire with see-through white skin. These are literal demon-possessed people, folks. This is like a movie. They are literally scum of the earth. And I saw their controller driving around earlier in a black car. It looked like a vampire. These people are so weak. And they're fluttering around their temple trying to protect it. 
Because make no mistake, rituals go on in that building. We've caught them all over the country, folks. This is what's really going on. And he assaulted a bunch of people. We could, pe People controlled themselves. He was going to attack me. Jakari got between us. Great job, Jakari. He, he, These was totally possessed. he was totally... He was Rob, totally dude, possessed. describe what you saw. That guy had a look in his eyes of death and soullessness, and he was like just... <sighs> you could just see it. He was going... <sighs> and it was like when those guys in Iraq were like killing the puppy and, and, and beating up the kids. It was that same mentality. It's the enemy. You saw the enemy. Oh, yeah. You could see it right there. And he was the worst. The other ones didn't have that look. That guy had the look, and we got it all on tape. We're going to be putting it up. It was all streamed out live, too. So I'm, I'm totally blown away. that well, This is a pack of vampires. I got them from behind coming in. They all linked We up. know who they are. I want to start hunting them in the info war. Right. I want to start going to their haunts. Yeah. I, want to, I want to put some legal, lawful teams on them. They're all right behind us. Yeah. Well, and, and where are the police? They're they those two there. Yeah, they're over there arresting the ring race right now. Uh, I need to. We need to send somebody over to talk to the police so that they can get the truth of what happened so they don't let them go. We have it all on footage. Uh, we have everything on tape. We need the Austin police to come over here. They've already been helpful so far. Uh, let's send over Jakari. Jakari! I think Weldon's on, too. He's okay, Weldon. Yeah, I want to get the police over here as soon as they get people. Pardon me, sir? Uh, no, sir. God bless you. Uh, I want to tell the police exactly what happened. That guy shoved, hit, punched, kicked. And he did it all like that animated demon thing where they have no souls. Like, like, like in movies. I mean, these people are literal scum. Literal filth. A absolute, absolute bottom of the barrel trash. Here like moths in a flame at the stench of the dead babies in there. Just getting off on it at every level. And, 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 and their evil, their evil has exposed them yet again. I mean, look at this guy. It's like the hillside. I mean, it's just unbelievable, the emptiness. You guys really love abortion, don't you? Absolutely. Hey, well, don't worry. Don't worry that, you know, you guys love garbing yourself in black like you're tough. You love death so much, believe me. God's got a way of giving you what you want. So enjoy it. I think you guys are a fascinating topic. We're going to start, start, start uh, covering you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, they have so many people with them. Absolutely. Total minions of evil. Yeah, we already know who you are. Not releasing your names isn't going to help. And the rap sheets on these guys are going to be very, very serious. I need to talk to the police. Again, the only response I need to speak to the officers. To... I want to send Weldon. Yeah, we need to speak to the police. All right, I'm going over here. Bring me the cameras. Right, listen, it's all right, buddy. I'm going to go talk to this guy. I'll do what I want. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? doing well. uh, when are the officers going to come over, please, sir? Shortly. Fantastic. Just, just pl you promise you'll you'll ask him to come over to us. Yeah, we'll, uh, guarantee you. Guarantee okay, thank you. Well, we need to arrest him. We have video of him assaulting people. Not like the assault going on inside there, but it's. Uh, I mean, they're not cutting up babies or anything. They're just here like Renfield protecting Dracula's castle, but it doesn't work, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. That guy was like a reanimated corpse. I, I, I'm telling you, these people are the scum of the earth. God. I wouldn't be surprised if God just blew the whole planet up to cleanse it of this disease and it blew us up along with it. I mean, this is just... What did you... Sir, I, I saw one of the minions was attacking you. What was... Did you see the look in their eyes? Crazed look just out in space. I mean, the guy had to... I mean, it's beyond the stuff I've seen from the Manson family. It's incredible. I mean, the way they look. But just, they're, they're, they, they're nothing. They are nothing. I can see your soul. I love you. I love you too. God bless you. We're gonna man. beat these God people. I hate the new old order. Jesus name. Yeah. Damn right. You Bro. people are gonna get it. People ask me why I'm a Christian. Why I talk about God? I don't mean these fake churches. I face the new world order over and over again. They're all devil worshippers. Yeah. It's real. We know who they are, and we're sick of them. You've been ousted. We're sick of you hurting children. You filth. We see you. We see you, and humanity's rising. And you God sit there and him pick you. us and tell us to submit. We'll never submit to you, and humanity's rising. That's right. And God sees everything. Damn right. God sees everything. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Heaven sees God. Well, we've exposed the filth. What is heaven? See, we drew the enemy out. And I want to salute all of you that are here. God bless you. Weldon Henson, come on over here and talk to us. I saw him assaulting you, sir. What was that like? Crazy. They linked up arms and just come charging through. And that guy just 
crazy in his eyes. I saw him shoving and hitting on you. You were restrained. You just held, held him back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't want to try to get him. like you could have given him a good pop, though. <laughs> well, I didn't want it to get violent. That's what they want. Yeah. They're trying to incite it. Yeah, trying to incite it. Yeah, they were waiting, wanting me to hit him. Yeah, yeah. they were trying to incite it. Yeah, don't fall in the trap. The don't fall in the trap. Play their games. Yeah, he did. He did. Absolutely. Well, now the paper that wants to ignore this, like they even matter anymore, will have to cover it because of the arrest. Good. And it wasn't us that got arrested, see? The enemy didn't get what they wanted. Hey, you want a bullhorn again? <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, earlier, yeah, we're good. Some, one of these guys drove by. Literal demon, even worse than us. Yeah. I mean, the guy's just a huge coward. Cause he comes up, he's shoving around. I was trying to, this, this, he's about to get in a fight with this guy, and I was trying to break it up. Cause he look at, he, he looks like he's about to snap him in half. And he's like, "What are you gonna do?" And then he comes up to me, and I'm like, "Okay." I'm like, "What do you want to do?" And he's like, and he grabs a mic and then runs off like a little girl, you know. So that's that's how these guys are. They want to stop the First Amendment. We're going to break. Let's get shots of them getting arrested over here. Police are doing their job. That's why we're gonna take back our communities and have good police departments. I tell you. That's why they want us all fighting with each other so they can have war in the streets and come after us. That's why they want to get a war with the police going. we got to reform the police, not fall in Soros' trap. I'm Alex Jones. This is the Info War. God bless you all. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight in studio. We have Alex live at the protest in front of Planned Parenthood, which we're trying to point out that black lives matter, and they have been the target of Planned Parenthood from its inception by their founder, Margaret Sanger. Counter-protesters showed up to try to just hold up black signs, black tarp over the signs that were there. Alex was outraged at their attempts to shut down free speech. He went to the rally, and they just cut the mic cable, shared it, something, and ran off with the microphone. Giving us an update now is Alex Jones. Go ahead, Alex. That's right, and Rob Dew and Weldon Hensley are going to break down what happened. Weldon got assaulted by him and had to push him off of him. What they did was knock over men and women. Uh, locking arms and stomp on you. Weldon didn't let him do that, so he pushed the zombies back over. Uh, the police were seeing if they're going to arrest him. We have them assaulting like 10 people on video, but uh, they're over there trying to claim that we basically assaulted them. Uh, but uh, Rob, dude, what'd you see and what'd you catch on this camera? Yeah, I've got it on this camera, and we're going to put it up here later today. They started back over by the uh, entrance. They all locked arms, and they all started walking towards the group, and they started running into people going, excuse me, excuse me, pushing people out of the way. They hit an old man first, and then and so he moved out of the way, and they kept coming. Then they ran into Weldon, Oh, Weldon's not a pushover. So he said, nah, don't well, push no, me. Well, no, let's Here, be, go, that, well, go let, ahead. Let, let's be clear. I told him three times after they had me trapped, I said, you're physically assaulting us. You need to stop it right now. You need to stop. Please stop. I told him three times. They backed me up, surrounded me. I had to push him back. Well, that, I mean, that zombie clawed me right here, and it's not that yeah, big a deal, yeah, but, yeah, I, you know, and let's be bleeding. Honest, and, and let's, you know, let's, let's be honest, too. When they had me surrounded, they were kicking me, and someone clawed me, too. There was another one over there who started clawing me, and I was just like, you guys need to get off, so I had to push them. But back. aren't these Satan minions weak? I mean, they're little claws and I stuff. Mean, it's like they're, a They're weak. There's no doubt about it. They don't have human spirit. You That's know. why they want to target children. I exactly. It's easy target, right? Well, I've just been waiting forever to, hear, to be able to talk to the cops. I mean, uh, well, this guy over here, this is the guy that tackled the dude who stole the... Sir, come over here and tell us about the ring race that you tackled. Sure. Uh, I described, so he grabbed the mic twice, was hitting people. You chased him over there. What happened? Two guys tried to take him down, but they couldn't, so I, I took him down. And then I grabbed him by the call, and I just I held him there. And I was looking around for police or, like, anyone to videotape it, but all of his friends ran up. And... They, they said we have it on video, and they were just videotaping me. So I just Look at those figured to smiling right there. They think it's funny. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna think it's funny if the cops don't arrest them. I'm gonna have to go other channels. Go ahead. Anyways, I let him go, and he ran off. I just I didn't know that I could make a citizen's arrest at that time. If I would have known that, I would have held him, and I would have dragged him over here. Well, good job, brother. And hey, we had a backup mic, but it, trying to take down banners, trying to block our banners, kicking people, attacking people, uh, assaulting the equipment, stealing the microphone, breaking the cord. I mean, this is a group of, 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 of scum. This... You can't defeat God's people. Here, get some, get some photos of them smiling and laughing over there. We, we need that on tape. Alex, we have something. Dude, I think the uh... get Zoom. I, I want to get the I want to get the laughing in the spot. We already got your face, scum. God, I hate scum. Ugh. Alex, Talk I think we have the uh, Facebook page of this group uh, that they're ready to throw up on the screen. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I don't want to give it too much attention, guys. I want to think about what we're going to do first, okay? Yeah, Red Guards but, uh, Austin. Yeah, that's the. Uh, looks like that's the group. Yeah, I don't even want to 
we're, we're, we're examining what group it is. We'll find out for sure, uh, and we'll see if it's affiliated with that group before we take action. But this is this is the enemy. This is this is the black clothes ring race. That's why I tell the cops, why do you want to wear black uniforms? Because the globalists try to standardize your uniform. Don't do Alex, it. Alex, we can you don't see want that. To look like him. That guy with the beard that refused to talk, the, the, the long beard, they've got a picture of him on Facebook. He's holding up uh, Red Guard's uh, banner. So this is Red Guard's Austin, and he's uh, marching with them holding the banner. So it looks like that. Yeah, your audio to me is real distorted. He's holding up a what? He's holding up a banner that says Red Guard's. It's a hammer and sickle. It's Red Guard's Austin. That appears right, to be the well, group here, they're with. Here, here, here. Let's go over here then. Good job, Alex. You're saying this guy? The, the, yeah, the, that uh, guy right there. That guy right there. They got him on uh, Facebook, the Facebook page. I did. Red Guards Austin. Well, good. You put your hands on me. There he good. is. More lies. Okay. Yeah. Hey, we saw your Facebook with your communist hammer and sickle. That's pretty cool, man. Is that you on the Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> is there a Facebook page of you with a hammer and sickle? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. And he's, right, and he's well, standing, Alex, he's standing right next to a Black Lives Matter Pardon sign me? <laughs> in the march. So it's the Communist Party holding uh, red flags and a Black Lives Matter sign. And there's our guy there with the beard. Wait a minute, you marching a Black Lives Matter thing with a hammer and sickle? Was that you? What are you, talking are you We're just asking. Are you hearing that? Are you talking about what you No, they just got a, we're just asking if that's your Facebook because we got it on TV right now. That's to you. That's really that impressive. impressive. Hey, man, it's You're it's something else. People. I've never met an alien before. What's it like? Which planet? What do they sound like? It's a yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think they've got her. Anyways, as well. do you have any language <laughs> skills other than cuss words? Cuss words. <laughs> no, that shut her up. All right, we've got to go to a break. We're going to be right back live at Planned Parenthood with people who don't like free speech either. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight in studio. We have Alex has gone to the Black Lives Matter rally, pointing out that it's not just black lives that matter when they're adults. It's black lives that matter when it comes to abortion as well. People are profoundly ignorant of the roots of Planned Parenthood. But, of course, this rally was interrupted. The reason Alex went there was because they were interrupted by what apparently is a communist group here in Austin, the Red Guard Austin. We have uh, multiple pictures up on their Facebook account of uh, definitely one individual there with a very long beard. There's pictures of him at a Black Lives Rally uh, march, standing behind the Red Guard Austin, as well as holding up a uh, sign that says, uh, Donate to End Capitalism. See, communists hate life, but they love censorship. They hold their sign, their their tarps up to cover up other people's signs. Let's go to Alex right now and find I've out what's to, going on. Uh, show him the broken microphone. So let's let Knight take over for about ten minutes, and then we'll come uh, after I'm done talking to the police. But right now, where's the broken microphone and all that stuff? I have to give it to him. I don't have the microphone. But I have the cable. Uh, who has it? Do Jakari? Get Jakari over here. He's a witness. This is the right um, side of it. Uh, here, uh, let's get Jakari. Here, yep. David Knight, you take over, covering live Planned Parenthood, all Black Lives Matter protest, assaulted by the Red Guard. That is their group. I can't believe it. Uh, who appear to be a yeah, uh, wannabe <laughs> vampire zombie club. Uh, I mean, uh, that, that's my opinion. That's how I would describe them. It's bizarre. We'll continue to engage in an analysis of it. Uh, the women are now claiming that we assaulted them, so that's standard stuff, standard feminist demon line. Uh, so, uh, Weldon Henson, we're going to throw back now. Anything else you'd like to add? Go ahead. No, they're not going to. They they did not succeed. They made it better for us. Absolutely. It, it's amazing that they were so obtuse that they didn't realize that this was being recorded with multiple cameras. Uh, they had been there for quite some time trying to cover up people who were protesting the abortions at uh, Planned Parenthood. They came out not with signs supporting their side, simply to shut down free speech. They showed up with black tarps, tried to cover up the signs. Uh, when Alex came, they left, they regrouped, they pushed their way through the crowd, uh, screaming, excuse me, excuse me. But it was actually an assault. They went in, they cut the microphone cable, they uh, stole the microphone. I think they've damaged one of those microphones. So we've got. Uh, 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 audio issues with uh, the people who are there start trying to get the uh, live report. Nevertheless, this is something that we see time and again. We saw the same thing happen at the state capitol when Jakari and I and my wife were covering that. We had a, a gun control rally that was being held. There were two counter protesters in support of gun rights that showed up and said, this is outright gun ban. And, he, and the city councilman at uh, Austin said, 
who was speaking at the time, said, we're not doing that right now, but you hang on to those signs, those signs saying that they're going to ban guns. You hang on to those signs because we're going to make that happen. Now, what happened at the same time that was going on, the people who were there did everything they could to cover up those two signs of protesters. Nevertheless, they showed up. They had something to say about the Second Amendment. These people, all they want to do is shut down free speech. The only thing they will say is that uh, Alex Jones is anti-woman, an ad hominem attack, unsupported by anything. They'll yell, sexist, racist. That's it. That's their argument. That's what you see over and over again. We've got an article that's up on uh, Infowars.com today by Kit Daniels. Campus police intimidate student over her anti-Obama and pro-gun signs. Student was told she needed special permission for protest signs. This was at Blinn College in Brenham, Texas. Uh, the student, Nicole Sanders, uh, talked to Kit Daniels. She said she was told she needed permission for these signs, and she had to stay in a college free speech zone. Where have we seen that before? Oh, yeah, that was the BLM did that out at the Bundy Ranch. Out in the middle of nowhere, they put a free speech area. They had a professionally printed sign that they put on their fence that they created out in the middle of nowhere, and handwritten sign was put up by the protesters that said the free, free speech is not an area. But we've seen it before that. We see it at all of the Republican and Democrat presidential conventions. They always remove the protesters to a remote location and, then, and put them in a cage. That's been standard operating procedure for the last several presidential elections. This is how they deal with free speech. They deal with it with censorship. We see that with the Internet. That's what we're concerned about as well with the government taking control of the Internet that's the way these authoritarians work. Let's understand that they're not about pro-choice whatsoever. The same people who are pushing the quote-unquote pro-choice position in state after state are also trying to mandate vaccines. Take away your informed consent. It is a hallmark of medical tyranny. Going back to the story that Kit Daniels has, he says, she said, I felt the police were there to intimidate us, to stop without any problems, and it worked. The police made me nervous. This is what's happening on college campuses. They're simply shutting down the free speech, just as we saw with this group, the Red Guard Austin, this communist group. She said in response, she got help from the Foundation for Individual Rights in Education. That's F-I-R-E, FIRE. They have filed a lawsuit against the college, stating that its policies and their enforcement are unconstitutional. And as we point out, this story is eerily similar to an incident at California Polytechnic State University Pomona earlier this year in which school officials were also requiring students who engaged in First Amendment activities on campus to apply for a free speech permit. Listen, it is a right. It is not a privilege. You don't get permits for rights. You only get permits if it's a government-granted privilege. The free, sp free speech is a right that we get from God. The Constitution is a contract that government created saying that they would not trample on the rights that we already had. And when they talk about, and these are state schools, when they talk about uh, taking away your permission to exercise your free speech, that is precisely what's going on. And we're going to be going back to uh, the coverage. You can see that in the background there. Again, at the uh, rally, they're trying to sort out what happened the microphone was uh, cut and attempted to be stolen. I think they destroyed uh, one of the microphones that are there. They assaulted uh, uh, Alex and Weldon and several other people there. That's the way they deal with it. They don't have anything to say. They simply want to shut you down with force, shut you down with censorship. That's what the Red Guard, the communists in Austin, want to do. We've got pictures of them amazingly marching behind a sign with a hammer and sickle with red flags, with the Black Lives Matter sign. And as we pointed out, this Black Lives Matter is an astroturf organization. It's a movement started and funded by many Soros organizations. We just had a story yesterday about how protesters were caught on tape angry that they were not being paid for protesting in Ferguson and other places. They had an agreement with these Soros organizations that they were going to be paid if they would show up and protest or cause riots. This is something that is happening throughout the world. We've got a story today on InfoWars, George Soros saying he's concerned that we're getting close to World War III. Is he concerned or is that really what he's trying to do?
We know that he's been behind and his uh, NGO organizations that he's been funding have been behind these color movements that have been happening uh, throughout Eastern Europe. They are intricately involved with what's going on in the Ukraine, pushing that into a confrontation, reviving the Cold War. And then he comes out as if he's really concerned that we're going to have World War III. Of course, we're going to have World War III if he is successful. That is his that is what he's working for. At the same time, all this is going on. We had uh, one fellow who was uh, at the rally saying, we need to look at globalism. Globalism is killing more people than abortion. Listen, you need to understand what's going on globally, but you always need to act locally. Understand what the big picture is, but understand also that it is at the local level, like these abortion protests, like local government, where you can make the greatest effect. But what is happening globally? Let's understand where we're going with this TPP and fast track. It has just now cleared another hurdle today. Uh, the vote was 62 rather than the 65 that they had to uh, uh, a cloture vote that they had a week ago on last Thursday. It began this process of giving uh, the trade promotion authority, giving authority to uh, Obama's U.S. trade representative who has been negotiating this treaty for years in secret with corporate lobbyists. Now they have the treaty ready. Now they're trying to give formal authority to them. So it began with a filibuster last week. The filibuster was shut down with a cloture vote last Thursday. Mitch McConnell said they're going to push the fast track authority, the trade promotion authority. They're going to push that through this week. Once they do, Understand that the TPP is finished. They're going to lay it on the table and they're going to say to our congressmen, sign it. No amendments, you just sign it. As I've pointed out on the nightly news, this is the formal recognition of the fact that power has transferred. It's very similar to what happened at Runnymede with the Magna Carta, the big charter. This was a big charter where the nobles came to King John and they said, you're going to sign this, and it was something that they had written. He hadn't written it. He didn't like what it was because it devolved power away from him to them. They elevated themselves to be peers of the realm. In other words, we are as important as you are, King John. No amendments for King John. He didn't write any of it. They just put it down, and they said, sign it. That is what's going on with the Trans-Pacific Partnership now. Our congressmen, our representatives, the people, we are not allowed to see that. We, the people who created the government, we, the people who set up a constitutional republic, we have no stake in this. We are not stakeholders. They are now formalizing what is an accomplished fact, the fact that power has transferred out of Washington to these multinational corporations who have written it. Now, today, as Congress moved one step closer to passing this, we see the Electronic Frontier Foundation talking about how hundreds of tech companies have written a letter, an open letter to Congress, saying that TPP and Fast Track harms digital innovation and users' rights. This is more than 250 technology companies and user rights organizations in a joint letter. They say that the TPP threatens digital innovation, threatens free speech, threatens access to knowledge online. They say that giving this trade promotion authority to the U.S. Trade Representative, legitimizes this secretive process. That's precisely it. That's why this bill is so important. You need to get a hold of your reps, and you need to say, we see what you're doing. If you vote for this fast-tracked authority, you are legitimizing a secretive process. Listen to what, uh, listen to this quote from uh, an author, and I had this right here, it is right here. This is an author uh, science fiction author Cory Doctorow. This is what he said about this whole process. He said, democracies make their laws in public, not in smoke-filled rooms. If the TPP's backers truly believed that they were doing the people's work, they would have invited the people into the room. The fact that they, were go that they went to extreme, unprecedented measures to stop anyone from finding out what was going on, even going so far as to threaten Congress with jail if they spoke about it, tells you that this is something that is being done to Americans, not for Americans. Do you understand that? When Rand Paul complained about the secretive process uh, at the end of last week, he was, there was a response from the U.S. Trade Representative who said, he can go down and read the agreement. Ah, but what he didn't say is that he could not tell anyone what he had seen. He said, he can go take notes 
Ah, but what he didn't tell you is that he cannot show those notes to anyone. That is the kind of railroading. And again, as I said, this is a formalization of the process that power has already been transferred. Now, they also go on to point out in this Guardian story, they say notably absent from the list from this open letter that was signed by 250 technology companies, noticeably absent from that list are the big international tech, tech companies like Apple, Google, Facebook. And he points out that Apple and AT&T are part of the president's President's International Trade Advisory Committee, okay, which is involved in negotiating this. They say, of course, their representatives have presumably been able to read sections of the bill that would apply to their industry. Let me give you another quote from uh, one of the people who has a uh, one of these technology companies that has uh, signed this letter. This is from David Hansen. Now, he's written a program you may have uh, seen, Basecamp. Uh, we've used that here at the uh, at, at the office. He also has created a development uh, platform, Ruby on Rails. He says, this is a mockery of democratic legislative ideals. It's shrouded in secrecy exactly because it would wither in sunlight. Think about that. Let that sink in. It is shrouded in secrecy because it would wither in sunlight. Understand that it isn't just these secret trade deals. Virtually everything our government does is shrouded in secrecy because it would wither in sunlight. Virtually everything. The more our government spies on us, the more it ramps up the surveillance state, the more jealously they guard their secrets, their government secrets, their individual secrets. They become manic about guarding everything that they have. And again, this goes back to the other big issue that has been percolating for the last couple of weeks, Jade Helm. Understand that when they talk about mastering the human domain, they are talking about merging the nexus of the Homeland Security police state, the NSA surveillance state, the technology companies of the military industrial complex that Eisenhower warned us about, and now the military Putting the special forces out there, Admiral McRaven was talking years ago about how they needed to return to their original mission of PSYOPs and controlling local governments, shutting down movements, anticipating movements, shutting them down before they happened. That is what is going on. We see in this mastering the human domain, that is the stated purpose of geospatial intelligence, of human domain analytics, all these technological buzzwords. This is the growth area of surveillance to collect everything about you, everything about who you know, what you do, the groups you belong to, and your demographics. Make no mistake about it. There is a genocide component to this. Initially, we're going to have political totalitarianism, but what grows out of that political totalitarianism is always a genocidal uh, movement that grows out of that. We saw that happen with Nazi Germany as well. We need to be very concerned about the authoritarian, secretive police state that is merging. And this is how you need to understand this. This is not just for foreigners any more than the NSA or the CIA are about just watching foreigners either. Special forces are offering themselves as boots on the ground for the surveillance police state. That was the wording of Admiral McRaven a couple of years ago, saying they needed physical boots on the ground to, to build their information database about the human domain in order to master it. See, first they master us politically, then the master race will appear. That is the long-term plan of this. That is what you need to understand. The exercise of seeing how people are going to react to it. The mapping out of people. And once they map us out, those maps are not going away. Any more than that data that they're storing in Utah is going to go away. Stay with us. We're going to be right back and we're going to see what's happening there at the live rally in front of Planned Parenthood. Where the Red Guard, Austin, showed up to censor free speech. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Alex ran down to the protest in front of Planned Parenthood because we had a group that showed up. We now know that it was the uh, Red Guard of Austin. Uh, we matched pictures of uh, several of the people there. Ironically, marching a few weeks ago between signs that held up the hammer and sickle and Black Lives Matter. 
Our whole point in going to this rally was to tell people, yes, black lives do matter. They matter no matter how old those lives are. To try to educate people about the genocidal eugenics origins of uh, Margaret Sanger, about her beliefs, about what she said, about the purpose of Planned Parenthood that she founded. Essentially to attack specific groups and to shut them down. Now, as this rally was going peacefully, calmly, people were holding up signs. This group showed up with a black sign with black tarps, holding them in front of other people's signs. See, they have nothing to say. They merely want to black out what you have to say. The only comments we were ever able to get out of them were, you are racist, you are sexist. That's it. No substantiation. That's the narrative that you continually see over and over again. And that's the way... These AstroTurf groups that were funded by George Soros, as we pointed out yesterday, these AstroTurf groups that started this Black Lives Matter, that is what they're trying to do is divide and conquer the population. It is a Marxist organization at the very core. That is what's behind this. Certainly black lives do matter. We want to see police brutality stopped. We want to have a conversation about the legitimate use of the police and the legitimate use of force. We want accountability in the police department because, as Frank Serpico, uh, the, the guy behind the uh, movie that you've probably seen with Al Pacino, as he's pointed out many times, in any organization, it's not just the police, it's any human organization, you're going to have good people and bad people. The question about the organization is, will they purge the bad people? Will they punish people when they do the wrong thing? So we need to make sure that our police departments do that. But we were at this rally to point out to people that black lives matter at all ages, to point out what is going on with Planned Parenthood and the roots of it. And, of course, they showed up, censored it. Alex ran to the, uh, to the protest. Once he got there, they disappeared. And then they came back as a group screaming, excuse me, assaulting people, grabbed the microphone, cut or broke the cable, damaged one of the microphones, and ran off. So they're sorting that out now with the police. We're going to have an update on that tonight on the Nightly News. If you're not a Nightly News subscriber, please consider doing that and supporting our operation. You'll get the information that shows up a day or so later on YouTube. You'll get it as it's happening. And so tonight we're going to have an update as to uh, what's going on at this rally. Also, we skipped several commercial breaks uh, this during this program because of this breaking news. Just want to let you know that there are 72 hours left on our summer sale. Uh, the all-new Super Male Vitality is now 20% off. You can get it. This is your last chance. 72 hours left on this sale. Again, read the reviews on InfoWarsLife.com. Decide for yourself. There's hundreds of five-star reviews. It's a way that you can help yourself, help your family, and support our operation. And if you want to know what else is happening with InfoWars, you can sign up to our free Alex Jones Insider Newsletter. You'll get exclusive videos, daily content, special discounts before they're made public. It'll be emailed to you. Access to send in your requests, your tips, and feedback directly to us. It is completely free. It's just a way to keep up to date with what's going on with that. Now, again, as I pointed out, we have a story that's up on Infowars.com. If you want to see, this is a perfect metaphor. These people showing up and using black tarps to try to cover up other people's free speech. It wasn't that they had anything to say. They just don't want you to know the truth. They don't want you to know the origins of Planned Parenthood. But it's going to come out. And now we have a beautiful picture of exactly what they're doing. Thanks for joining us. Join us again tomorrow at 11 Central. Oh, we're going to go into overdrive. I think Alex is going to be with us. So hang on. If you're uh, online, we're going to be right back in overdrive. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host. Alex Jones is going to be joining us. He is on the way back to the studio. He's returning from the Black Lives Matter demonstration at Planned Parenthood. We believe that black lives really do matter. We believe that black lives matter no matter what the age. But the protest was, they attempted to shut it down. They didn't shut it down. It's still going. Uh, but we had people from the Red Guard Austin, communist agitators, if you will. I know that's a... Almost a cliche phrase, but if it fits, wear it. These people showed up, tried to shut down the protesters. When Alex uh, came, they uh, cut the microphone. They ran off. Uh, they damaged the microphone. So he was there talking to the police about what had happened. Uh, he is on his way back. That is the way they deal with you. They try to shut your free speech down. That is 
the characteristics that you see over and over again of the, of the authoritarians. They don't want you to have informed consent. The same people who try to present themselves as pro-choice when it comes to abortion, they say, oh, I'm just, I would want people to be able to make that decision for themselves. But they don't want you to have information about what is really going on. They don't want you to see the uh, 4D pictures, ultrasound pictures of the baby in the womb. They don't want you to know the origins of Planned Parenthood. They don't want you to know about Margaret Sanger, darling of the Ku Klux Klan, Adolf Hitler, honored by him because she worked to eliminate groups that she considered to be inferior to the group that she belonged to. Yes, eugenics and genocide, those are at the heart of the master race mentality of Adolf Hitler. Genocide is the technique of removing one particular group. And I'm going over this because we just had a guy who was at the protest saying, when I talk to uh, people I know and talk to them about eugenics, talk to them about Margaret Sanger, they've never heard of her. They don't understand what eugenics is. Eugenics essentially was, say, we're going to improve the human race. You, meaning EU, meaning good, and genetics, okay? It was something that was created by uh, a relative of uh, Charles Darwin. But the way that they say they're going to improve the human race is by eliminating or sterilizing people that they don't approve of. You know, Jews, blacks, whatever the group happens to be at the given time. There's always going to be a group. That's the way they keep themselves in power. Going after the foreigner. Going after the ones among us who look different in some way. That's the way they keep power. You know, when we talk about what is going on with Jade Helm, we talk about what's going on with the NSA and the surveillance state. We hear from them that uh, you're just promoting fear. No, the people who are promoting fear are the ones who are promoting and creating the police surveillance state. Joining us now is Alex Jones, getting back from the, uh, from the rally and uh, pulling up the microphone. It's been quite a day, Alex. Okay. In the building. But that was energizing, I tell you. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but some people don't like it, the fact that I love Jesus, but praise the Lord, uh, fighting those demons and seeing those actual vampire ring wraiths and one of them that was actually possessed. He could get a job in like those Twilight shows or whatever as, as like a lower Renfield type. Yeah. Just flopping around and hissing at people. And, and, and we now have video. I don't know how much it went out live. They're like, hey, Satan, Satan, hell, Satan. And they weren't joking around, just like at the Capitol. I mean, we faced the gutter demons that would slither up to protect that black uh, sacrificial altar that they've got right up the street from here. Oh, absolutely. And you talk about being a sacrificial altar. I think a lot of people don't realize that child sacrifice, which is rampant throughout the Middle East, uh, it, it was Moloch, where people would pass their children through the fire, thinking that it was going to bring them prosperity. And that's precisely the way that many people have been deceived with this Planned Parenthood agenda. That's one of the things that they throw at people. They say, you can't afford to have a kid. It's going to cost you too much over the child's lifetime. So you need to sacrifice them to this. Uh, and so they can then raise more taxes, give you a 200-square-foot yes. coffin house. They want you to have less so they can siphon off more and control you. Sure, some of the stuff we do is wasteful. Some of the energy is bad. There's real problems. But their solutions always centralize power for them, and somebody loses, and then you get something. We're going to be back. I'm going to do one segment with you. You're welcome to keep going with other news if you want for the full-hour overdrive, David, or punch out. Stay with Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Alex Jones, riding shotgun with David Knight and Leanne McAdoo. Leanne seemed very, very excited whenever she was sending me text messages when I was driving back from the Black Lives Matter uh, demonstration <laughs> that was just going to be something to point out that the majority of black folks getting killed before they're born are totally innocent, and we know they're being killed, and we know it's part of a Margaret Singer, Rockefeller, literal Nazi combine. I mean, that's the stuff of a Captain America novel. This stuff is all really going on. And we go out there, they, they attack us, they call us names, they tell us they love Satan, they, well, we find their Facebook page, and it is them promoting communism, and they say, no, they haven't, we're crazy. I mean, literal Decepticon weasels right. that I've never seen the likes of. I mean, I've seen similar. This is what comes up from under the rocks when you go out and, and see how their attacks now draw attention to how the so-called left... The totalitarian left is shutting down free speech everywhere, uh, is going after our basic freedoms everywhere, uh, and then claiming the moral high ground saying we hate women and we hate black people.
Uh, certainly, we get that women having kids and not having access to birth control and things like that ha uh, is a violation of their rights. And some folks on the really far right say, don't even let them have that. I don't agree with that. But the people that said don't give them birth control 60 years ago said next it'll be abortion, then it'll be old people, then it'll be children. Now it is. So I see that argument on both sides. And women that have had abortions, I'm not judging you. I've told the story many times. I have to get it off my chest, you know, again here, that when I was young, uh, you know, I had girlfriends and things, and um, they, they would tell me I'm getting an abortion. And uh, a few times I'd say, well, no, we, you know, we shouldn't do that. And then their parents would get involved or whatever, and then they, you know, they get convinced that, you know, you don't want me to have a kid. And I just didn't fight hard enough when I was 16 years old and when I was 20 years old. And then I promised that I would never be part of it again if I, you know, Obviously, I was somewhat promiscuous, got a woman pregnant, and and I, and I live by that, and thank God, if I'd have known back then what I know now about children, I never would have been involved in that. So I'm not on some high horse, and a lot of people have had abortions, or they've been involved in them, and so they commit to it. That's how they corrupt you with any corruption. You get into it, now you start defending it. When you can see all of these case point examples, there was a fellow out there after we were uh, off the air who came out. And I actually met him uh, at a Broken Spoke event that Weldon Henson was playing at like a year ago, a uh, listener, and he came out and he said, in theory, you could say socialism or abortion is going to help people, but always in practice, it creates a nightmare. And that's absolutely true. We should say that more because it is true historically and show those examples. But it is energizing <clears throat> to see their handler who was driving a black Jaguar uh, you know, brand new black Jaguar and they were all vampired out and dropping them off, picking them up and to see them hissing and hating and, and being mean to old ladies and just, just vicious and giggling when we talk about dead kids and then looking at me and we have it on tape. I don't know if it went out live, but we have it. She going, I am a Satanist and I love Satan. Mm. And it's just like spontaneously, not women in goth because all goths aren't bad. Obviously it's just a style but not women in goth, women that, that look like the lady next door that makes cookies spontaneously a few years ago at the Texas legislature, when they were about to ban partial birth abortion, began to go, hail Satan, Satan, Satan. And it was all around these, these Christians, and they were just channeling the energy, going, oh, Satan. <laughs> because you're talking about 56 million executed, chopped up children at the bottom of this rabbit hole is the soul-sucking, energizing death. And the same look in those women's eyes of sticking their tongues out and going, ah, 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 get, getting off on the power of the death going on inside that building, it was incredible. And so we just experienced that. So, so here, here it is. Pro-abortionists admit they love Satan and Stalin. Okay? Yeah. You've got that. Um, um, communist group, because we, we confirm, you say, we've well, seen the Facebook, it's them. And we hope you have screenshots and everything now. Oh, yeah. Communist group uh, attacks uh, Black Lives Matter abortion demonstration. <clears throat> There's their Red Guard Facebook. I guess that was the guy I saw marching and already have footage downtown myself. Yeah. Well, so these that, are busy beavers. Of the of info the, uh, bearded guy. Our info warriors are busy taking over their Facebook page. So they've commandeered the Facebook page, leaving all sorts of comments and everything. By the way, that red guard, I ran into them in New York. Mm -hmm. That red guard. They're all over the place. Oh, that was the girl that was out there, isn't it? Yes. That's yeah. him. Yes. Look at that guy. Donate to One end of, capitalism. Yeah. And he's got the American flag upside down and, and that written across. By the way, they were being dropped off and stuff in a brand new Jaguar. Wow. Probably cost twice what my Dodge at, car does. They're like, look at you, capitalist. Look at yeah, this, Yeah, the Alex. Red Guards who pledge their allegiance that's her. to Mao. Yeah. That's one of the ones that they questioned but didn't arrest. Oh, that's a whole other issue. Hammer and sickle, and there's the Black Lives Matter sign. Well, here's the thing is that they're that on their page, a lot of people are saying, Alex, we're so angry at you. How dare you use the Black Lives Matter movement to push a pro-life agenda? <laughs> Meanwhile, they're using the Black Lives Matter movement to push a communist agenda. And race war. Yeah. The communists want to have a violent overthrow. That's why George Soros is funding it. The communists won't actually get power, though. They'll be double-crossed in the end. I mean, it's great. It and, and the Austin police could have arrested them. They spent, like, 45 minutes talking to them and talking to other people out there. Well, the damage your property. I, I mean, they, they broke microphones. There's video of them helping the guy climb a fence to get away that did, who did the majority of the assault. And the cop looked at it. Now, fair as the police, he said, no, something is going to happen to them. Mm -hmm. Something is going to be done, just not today. Well. And, and, I, and I've got his name right here. I he, mean. He probably knows who My God, I've been is. arrested for bullhorning. I've been arrested for peacefully demonstrating 
by the DPS at the DPS offices, they better arrest these people. I mean, these are, they were laughing and giggling. And I mean, it was, it was just sickening. Um, you could see Gil, Guillermo Salinas, badge number 4733, senior police officer. And then they had a Sergeant Tate, I think. Man, a big black guy. I shook his hand. It was like his hand was like rebar steel. That cop. <laughs> I was just like, oh my god, this guy's got the hardest hands I've ever touched. It was like it was like literal shaking Optimus Prime's hand. Or <laughs> he was like, Mr. Jones, I hope you have a nice day. So the cops were nice, but still, they should have arrested them. Any other? Uh, why do you think they didn't arrest them? I'm not sure. Maybe they want to get him on bigger charges based on what their groups. Up well, yeah. Say. When they saw the footage of them helping him run and all that, they were like, uh, and then they went. I, 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 I don't know what's going to happen, but it was amazing. Well, the thing I think that's important, Alex, is, first of all, what we saw before you even went out there. What made you mad? The reason you went out there was because they show up, they have nothing to say. Right. They simply want to shut down your speech. Mm -hmm. They're all about censorship. They're commies. And and they're going to fail. you show up, they grab your microphone and try to destroy your microphone because they just want to shut people up. They have nothing to say except the tired old stereotypes of racism, sexism, and what they're doing is they're discrediting real charges of racism by continually misusing that crying wolf about it. That's right. Leanne, your observations. I've been ranting. Well, I just, I don't, why do they want to turn the United States into China? <laughs> you know, is, is that their ideal? I mean, my God, it's total totalitarianism. These people. They want forced listen, abortion. Listen, when I first got there, like, these people are vampire wannabes. And then the Satan, we love Satan. And then a guy who had transparent, my dad calls them, uh, see in the dark or, or, or glow in the dark people. Right. Uh, because I've learned real, real Satanist, or, or, or if they're not, they're they're being influenced by it and don't know it. That archetype, whatever, is he had glowing, like green, translucent skin. You know, like he'd never been out in the sun. Yeah. He was just like, Ugh, he was Ugh, Ugh, just trying to like a zombie trying to protect the death base. Yeah, well, it's just really strange when you would go over and try to engage them. They would just they would say nothing. Right? Okay. Is Rob Dew out there? Can we get a feed of him? Or I just see Rob Dew giant on the screen over there. <laughs> Like we're Lilliputians or little putties or whatever you call yeah, them. Either. I'm not saying that. I'm saying you can't go around killing babies and saying it's for women's health because killing babies is not for women's health. There's a lot of other adverse reactions that could happen when women do get abortions. So look into all that for yourself. Check out blackgenocide.org. Check out infowars.com and uh, hashtag Black Lives Matter because we think that all lives matter, but especially black lives matter. They're really scared and, of this. And they are the ones who are getting the full brunt of this abortion industry. Dude, must be a lot of feet or something. something else. All right, That's thank you, dude. Yeah, I think he's shooting a report, but... Anyways, if these spread and we take over their Black Lives Matter thing that's meant to actually cause a race war, mm -hmm. so Obama can then be the savior, you know, riding in on the white horse, if we hijack it, and it can really save a lot of lives. I feel they, really bad for them. I mean, they, they want to start a, a race thing. war, and we could stop a race war if we get people to understand what Planned Parenthood is about. In other words, they're trying to—they're using Black Lives Matter. Planned Matters Parenthood's like, the real race war. Exactly. Right. exactly. I mean, I'm at, I mean, fifty-six million people, and seventeen million of them are black. I mean, yes, the Klan didn't kill a million black people. That's right. That's right. Of course, that's what. Well, I guess they did. They they helped set up Planned Parenthood. I guess they did. Hell. So well, that's the headline. Klan killed sixteen million blacks. Left defends it. So Soros is trying to start a race war. We're trying to expose that one has been going on for 40 years by the founder of Planned Parenthood, Margaret Sanger. She was very clear about it. You know, I finally decided if the guy shoved me and pinched me and hit on me one more time, that zombie guy, was gonna, I was going to punch him in the jaw full power. And right at that moment, Jakari just jumps in front of him and yeah. lets him run into him. So I'm proud of Jakari, <laughs> but I tell you, yeah, I, I, I really, I mean... I was just asking. I didn't want them to win because then they claimed that I hit them. Of course, he'd have been hurt. The cops will take the jail whoever hurt somebody. I, I wanted to punch that vampire so bad. Well, yeah. there's also that, I just know that jaw would have. <laughs> and just. Mm, mm, yeah. <laughs> there's also that really big guy that you talked to, and he says, "Yep, yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna be goaded into uh, doing that. We're going to not take the bait that they're trying to offer us. We're gonna just stand you know, stand them down." That's what he did as well. Yeah, and that guy was probably like 240 pounds of solid muscle. In, yeah. In oh, yeah. Guy. Yeah. Yeah. He was much bigger than those guys. And well, he all those really tough he guys, though, are into like not getting in fights, so they have to do controlling it. Like Joe Rogan, when people attack him, which he's not, not that or big Chuck a guy. Morris or whatever. Or, yeah, they just slam him into the wall, throw him on the right. ground. Yeah. On Fear Factor, repeatedly, Joe would get attacked, and he just, you know, just direct him into the wall or into the ground. Mm -hmm. Me, I don't know how to do all that. I just knock people upside the head. <laughs> I know you were like, come on, come on, bump into me one more time. I was like, no, please, yeah. don't don't bump into him. But then he did it a couple more times, and I could, but the last thing, I just couldn't. But I saw him smiling like he was going to get what he wanted. I went, oh, I'm just, you know.
Yeah. Well, that's their whole thing, just anarchic. It'd have felt good, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not into violence, but vampires, I mean, it would just be so satisfying. Alex There's... Jones, a vampire slayer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, well, he, he, he this is a demon. I mean, yeah. a literal demon. If you guys want to come back and do one more segment, put bookends on this. Sure, we can do that. We'll get all these videos and articles up. Great job, everybody. I'm going to go do some accounting work <laughs> and try to get the TV network system launched. But we're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Thanks for all your support. When we come back, we got a plug, too. Yeah. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and joining me in the studio is Leanne McAdoo. We're going to uh, put some bookends on what happened today. It's been an amazing uh, live broadcast. Before I do, because it was of everything that was going on with this live broadcast, we did very few... Uh, uh, commercials. We skipped some commercial breaks, studio breaks. There are 72 hours left on the summer sale of the new super male, super female vitality. You can get 20% off for just 72 hours more. Again, read the reviews. We have hundreds of five-star reviews on InfoWarsLife.com and you can get super male and super female vitality for 20% off for just another 72 hours. And of course, that supports our operation Helps to get free speech out there. And this is what this is all about, isn't it, Leanne? This was about uh, the reason Alex left the studio and went down to the uh, demonstration was because these people from Red Guard Austin showed up not to exercise their free speech, not to say what they believe, but to shut down the free speech of others, literally taking black tarps and holding them up over people's signs. And they would not speak except to say, once or twice, it's racism, it's uh, feminist, uh, anti, anti-woman, all this kind of stuff. But these are the people who are, you were telling me on Facebook, they say, come learn about Stalin. Right. They hold a <laughs> weekly, weekly meetings. And one of the weekly meetings, there's a picture of it there. It says, come to the meeting this week and learn about our young, young comrade Stalin. So they're wanting to teach people about the young Stalin and, and the young Mao. Yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Free what? mass murder. It's not surprising that the people who are holding up as idols, people like Stalin, people like Mao, who have created massive democides, killing millions, tens of millions of people mm -hmm. in the 20th century, that they would also show up at Planned Parenthood in support of the genocide going on against black people. That was the purpose of creating that organization. The founder, Margaret right. Sanger, specifically set it up for a black genocide. There's many quotes about her saying that. Right. That's what we're trying to educate people about. We want people to come learn about Margaret Sanger. Come learn about Planned Parenthood. And at the same time, learn about Stalin. Learn about Mao. Understand the democide that was going on and continues to go on in places like China where they have a one-child policy and forced abortion. It's kind of divine intervention that it was that particular group that decided to show up. Because now we can, right in your face, we can expose how these Soros-led groups are infiltrating the Black Lives Matter movement they're on their Facebook page. Uh, their supporters are, are yelling back and forth with our supporters who, by the way, Info Warriors dominate their Facebook page. <laughs> uh, but they're going back and forth saying, how dare you use the Black Lives Matter movement to push your pro-life agenda? Yeah. But they're using it to because push a communist agenda. Like how, how does that how does that even work? Yeah. If Black Lives Matter, why wouldn't they really matter at a young age? Right. Of course, it is all based on lies. They don't try to uh, argue with anybody. They simply want you to come to their meetings so you will hear only one side of their narrative, their false narrative right. about Stalin that is just as false as the narrative that we're hearing from the GOP, from Marco Rubio and Peter King, when they flat out deny that the NSA is collecting your information. They are lying to you. That's one of the techniques. One of the... You know, of course, they want to try to shut people down with censorship. But, of course, the other thing is to not debate the issue, but just to repeat emphatically an obvious lie. That's what we see from the government all the time. We see it from the GOP as well as from the Democrats, as especially from these communists at the Red Guard Austin. And what are they telling people that it's going to be better when the hey USA screen? becomes Cuba or? Looks like our. Fans just hijack their Facebook. Yeah, oh, that's, what they're they're, that's what That's what that's what Leanne dominating. was saying. As you can see there on the uh, screen, it's our our fans Truth are, to are the putting lies. up commercials about uh, how to go to the Infowars store and buy stuff. Like that's, here's what here's Margaret Sanger. Here's what right. who the Red Guards really were. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Here's what they support. They don't want to show up and and have that discussion when we put the microphone in their face at the uh, demonstration. They would not talk about that because they want to put forth their false narrative in, an, in, in a, uh, a venue where nobody is going to challenge them about that. 
And of course, we need to understand the nexus of the surveillance state, of censorship, of genocide. All these things come together. They're always pushed by the same people, just as we see the so-called uh, pro-choice legislators who are pushing uh, informed consent being banned from people, forcing you to take vaccines mm -hmm. without your consent, without any information about what's in it. That's the kind of authoritarian mindset that we see, and that's what whistleblowers like William Benny have pointed out. Peter King and Marco Rubio, you need to listen to William Benny. He's been there. He was the head, the global head of the technology uh, side of the NSA. He said, I watched the authoritarian police states in East Germany and the Soviet Union, and we have become that. Mm. It's not even a question. Uh, Peter King says, which is spreading fear. You know who's spreading fear? The people who are selling this authoritarian police state are the ones who justify it by spreading fear. They tell you, give up your liberties for security. Useful idiots. That's right. Join us tonight for the InfoWars Nightly News. Leanne is going to be hosting, and we're going to have some updates on what happened. We'll encapsulate that and show you the clip.